This is the Chief and Sean Show, and we are live in the 405. We're not live, but we are back. We're live. No, we're not. We are back. And we're live. Weekly, not live. We're sort of live. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well. The well, f- the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen. Here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I've, like, they're yeah. how big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So, also, stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully, the more podcast episodes you'll hear yeah go ahead yeah the crow 405 murder nova midway street cars like it comment on us tell us who you are tell us why you listen to it keep this going please there are people that are, don't want this to keep yeah, there's going people right now trying to make trying to put it into this they, they so, don't want us on the air and we got guys like speed society that want to help us keep it going so welcoming us let's do it rock and roll help everybody out and while you're there check it out their website's awesome can we start the fucking podcast now before they don't okay welcome <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Chief and Sean show. Damn it. It's Tuesday. Oh, it is. It's been a it's long Tuesday. fucking week, you guys. Yeah, it is. You guys have no idea what all we did in the week <laughs> since the last podcast. I don't know but... what our listeners have been doing this week, but I bet they did a lot. Counting the days. They did a lot of sitting in their mom's basement, eating Cheetos, and talking shit on the internet. Just refresh. Refresh. Yep. <laughs> nope, still not one. Refresh. No. I better make a post about it. Oh really? Yeah. Well, McDougal McDougal will look at any chance at getting somebody on the internet. Yep. <laughs> Jeff Lutz is here. Hello. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Been a minute. I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't figured that out. Just every yet. once in a while, you got to come hang out. I mean, well, you know, you, you're us. my boys. You're he my boys. Us. I gotta come check you out every now and again. Um. So <laughs> when we when we started this deal just now. You were you had just you had just received something. Yeah. Normally we wouldn't, you know, go into our personal lives on this thing. Shit, who hasn't gone into <laughs> that, their personal? That's lives? pretty goddamn personal, right this, there. This is a uh, I don't know, man. This is a part of you I didn't I did not know nothing about here. What I the think, fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What it is, surprised so, the fuck out of me. <laughs> I why. Really? So I got yeah. all these notes over here. I'm like, what well, we should talk about on the podcast? We just wanted that. Stop. Th- yeah, shanked it right into <laughs> yeah. the trees. Yeah. All right, Sean. I'm what, pretty down, man. I'm what pretty just disappointed. Happened? What, just tell me what, tell me what happened. What just happened? Um, well, anybody who knows me pretty well knows that I've wanted a daughter for shit. I don't know. Forever. I uh, share that. Okay. I, and you know that. And, you know. and bottom line is, is uh, me and Aaron having one's just not an option for us. I don't want a baby. I want a little girl, you know? That's kind like, of that, Okay, part, like, probably lots of this is going to sound creepy. Ready to run? Sounds like <laughs> walking. Yeah. So, <laughs> RTR. It's like a pre owned car. Batteries and everything Get that shit. <laughs> this is still RTR. <laughs> I'm thinking the batteries in that shit. Let her roll. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, somewhere between, you know, five to ten. Oh, oh you want the hard no, part I gone. I was looking at somewhere between 19 and 23. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hey, you're set then. You're set. Oh, then. You got it. You got oh, it. That's a dick move. That's a dick. <laughs> you guys. Oh, that was fucked up. Yeah. Okay, so you want a daughter. Then who doesn't, man? Yeah. I got two boys. They are the meanest, gnarliest. Perfect little assholes. Like, yeah. you cannot ask for two more perfect little shit. They are so kids. badass. Yeah, no, I've met them. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I've, you know. Oh, who I, doesn't want a daughter? Who doesn't want a daughter? You know? you know? And so I, I've been, I, we've been trying to, not trying to have one, you know, trying to get one. You know, and Aaron always frowns. What do you mean, like trying Aaron to snag one up at Walmart on me, hey, or what? Hey, oh, hey. Yeah. For real? You've been looking at like shopping like, carts, well, empty shopping carts? Aaron, for kids. Aaron, you're sitting Aaron in Walmart parking lot going, yeah, that, that would work. That, that would work right there. Hey, and Aaron this reminds me of the movie Raising quit. Arizona. Are we allowed to do? Are we allowed to talk about? This? I don't. No. We're not allowed to talk about anything on anything. this fucking thing. But I know that Aaron's <clears throat> always telling me, "Look, you're going to get fucking arrested. You can't look at little girls like that. It's really creepy, you know." Because we'll be like at you know the doctor's what? office or dentist's office or something. I'll what be kind like, of look at that little girl? What kind of looks? What do you? What kind of look? Show me the look. 
Um, I don't. Like, I don't know. <laughs> if Aaron was here, she could show. Did you, you the see look the look on I his did. face when he said he was really upset about it? I'm I mean, pretty upset this, about this, it. I mean, last I time I tell. seen that look, so, you know, something fell off the. So club. we've been trying to adopt, man. You know, there's lots of little kids out there that needs houses, and they're going to tell trying me. Trying to like adopt, yeah, adopt like yeah. for real, like like for real, like try legit. to you know go through uh, DHS, you know, and try to adopt a little girl. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, okay. First, first questions. I have a couple that come to mind immediately. Yep. Um, I don't know anybody that's ever tried to adopt. Um, Me neither. If anything, most of us have tried to stay away from having extra kids. Yes. So, in this adoption process, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm going to ask you, though? I get to pick. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's <laughs> no, what I'm wondering. Like, no, no, no. no. New, that list. Was, new list. That was <laughs> new list. Yeah, ain't nobody just, making no memes about me you don't want to and be my the, family. I'm, I'm just you know, saying. That, 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 that type I of, am that not racist, okay? I'm not. Never have been. I am I judge everybody, okay? Yep, yep. But I'm going to judge your ass if yes. you're walking through the Target with you and your old lady and your white son and your black daughter, yes. and I'm going to be like, oh, she got him. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he took knew. her back. He took her back after that shit. Yeah. No, uh -uh. That, that's, that's you know. Hey, and trust me, that was that was that's always a concern. I don't care what anybody says; that's a concern, you know. And it's just you know, and I'm not adopting somebody because I'm a good person. I'm adopting somebody for for me. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it. I don't. I just. I don't feel like everybody's like, oh, that's so sweet. You want to adopt a kid? You know? No, I want to adopt a kid for me because I want a daughter. Right. Okay, you know, but. It sounds kind of, I don't know, it sounds kind of shitty, though. Like, there are people out there that can't have kids. Yes. That are trying to adopt children. That that literally, the universe has not made it possible for them to have a child. So they're, they're trying yes. to adopt every day. Yes. You can have kids. I can. But, but you want to take one away from people who can't. No, no, no. I want to take one that is in a DHS home. You want to take one nobody wants. It, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I okay. mean, there's there's all kinds of kids out there that need that are looking to get adopted, you know. And I guess you got to pass some sort of fucking test. And you obviously, obviously I failed that test. You suck. You, yeah. what, why why do you say up. you failed the test? Well, what do you, you mean? You want me to read you a little bit off of the letter? You got a letter. Uh, we got a letter. You got a letter email, denying your. Aaron is gonna kill. Me. I was just ready to ask. Well, that. that's what we do here. Yes. You you got letter a letter all, denying your adoption. I did. I did, and it says your request to be approved as a, and this, you know, Oklahoma DHS uh, bridge resource parent has been denied based on policy, and then it tells all these policies, and then it has a whole bunch of reasons. It has your and reasons got, why you got denied. Yeah, well, and then it checks the reason, you know, I mean, this is probably the same one that they give to everybody. Well, but yours is checked I in have different places. Two different check marks. Well, ooh, ooh. let's hear the check marks. Uh, the applicant or any person residing in the home has a history of arrests and or convictions <laughs> per, and then it has all these, all these other numbers that don't really mean anything next to me. <laughs> and, then, and then scroll down just a little bit further and I got another check mark and it says one or more factors concerning the applicant. A family or household member, and I'm really the only household member. So they're they, talking about me. So you may as well just added my yeah, name. Yeah, you there. fucked this deal up, Aaron. I did. Didn't. No, no, Aaron's yeah. never been in trouble a day in her life. So right again, on. Aaron goes through life. Yeah, sorry, and, Aaron. Yeah, your yeah. your life sucks because of Sean. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I did have a past. I feel like okay, I, you so know I moved the, on. What's the second check mark? Um, because the first one is arrest. You've been arrested. I, and basically, that's what <clears throat> this one is too. Uh, <laughs> one or more factors concerning the applicant. Oh no, Aaron's texting me right now. She's probably telling me not She's to tell mad. A family or household member or conditions in the home as described in the denial letter renders the applicant or home environment inappropriate as a resource home. You're inappropriate. I, I, I've seen yeah. you do some inappropriate stuff. <laughs> I've done a lot of I mean, inappropriate stuff. I never stuff. caught you staring at young girls at Target. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fucking well, We've creepy. never been to Target together. <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. No, Walmart. <laughs> you know, you know, when I go to Walmart. Hey, you folks, the Walmart, Walmart in Oklahoma. You that's like everybody a leper colony. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. So, <laughs> what, Jeff? That's fucked what up. What did you just a say? leper colony. You said going Oklahoma. to Walmart in Oklahoma is like going to a leper colony? Yeah, it's it's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> yeah. and, and our uh, hiatus from the podcast here. Has uh, left us with I don't even know how many listeners now four maybe yeah probably and Jeff just got Five. rid of two of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got rid of the rest of them because I'm a piece of shit 
But no, that kind of helps us out, I think. Being yep. yourself. And yep. yourself is an inappropriate yeah. felon who's not allowed to have I a little can't girl. I fucking believe that. And you know, I, mean, not... I understand I'm not allowed to have a gun. You know? <laughs> or a weapon. Or, you know, something like that. But fuck me. So you're at I that level. a little kid? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, hey, there's crackheads out there every day, DHS taking their fucking kids away from them and then giving them back and shit. But I can't have one. But I can't see you standing there going, I'll, I'll take them. Yeah. I, but that's cool, though. I mean. Well, obviously, I can't. I, there's, so, I just, there's just a lot of, there's so many questions. I had no idea, Sean. Yeah, but it's I been about, it's been yeah. probably two or three years, and we would pursue it, and then we'd be like, man, our life is a mess right now. We travel around so much, and now's not the time, so Plus, we kind of put it on hold. Shit. And then, I, and then you know, I'm a piece of shit. And, Got that. You know, I just, I ruin everything, and, and, you know, this is something that Aaron's been wanting, too, and now I've fucked that up for her. Okay, just because you've been arrested a bunch, or is it because of the reasons you were arrested? Um, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. check. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's the, the reasons. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, it has to do with the firearms. It probably does, but I mean, hell, you remember, man. I mean, me, you, and Flip, we used to go to gun stores a lot, and you remember one time, yeah, no, I Flip, was like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking try this it, you know? Hey, and I talk got, about, sir. Okay, well, then I probably shouldn't say anything, yeah. but I feel like I'm going to. Flip would always come out of there with a lot of guns. Flip would always walk out of that <laughs> store because a person like Flip could own a weapon and I couldn't. Is which that is, right? Which is still <clears throat> fucked up. Which is, I, and, and so anybody, these two, and this, so this is when we first If anybody should own a gun, it's not Flip. Yes, yes exactly. Right. But he, but he, was he allowed could. to buy them. Yes. Because he didn't do anything with guns that prevented, in a cr- crime, that prevented him from having guns. Well, right. you know, yeah. I feel yeah. like I... Did what I had to do. I, you know, you were, I spent a little reformed. time in jail. You reformed. I, 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 I was on probation for five years. I'm done after that. They let you, you know? out. Exactly. So I don't see what the problem is, but <laughs> I know that whenever I first met you guys, and it was one of those deals where you, even Chief and Flip, just staring at me, going, "What the fuck? What the hell do you mean you can't buy a gun?" And I'm like, "All right." They just said I can't in have Oklahoma, one. In Oklahoma, like, <laughs> look, man, they got just me said, on some bullshit. They just said I couldn't have one. <laughs> in Oklahoma, it's hard to get to that point. Really? Because in, oh, in Oklahoma, you're anybody can buy guns. Like in, in Oklahoma, you walk in, you buy whatever the fuck you want. You, walk, you strap a Gatling gun to the back of your Ford Taurus and drive <laughs> yeah, off. Aaron Nobody has cares. A carry, concealed carry license, and I can't <laughs> own a gun. So wait a minute, if you get mugged or something, you go, "Hey, Aaron, give me the gun." Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, that's okay. illegal. But I'm just saying, because if he is a felon. He's not allowed to have. He's not allowed to be. I'm around. not allowed to touch her. Her guns. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yeah. I'd hold that over your head too. I'd be like, yeah. hey, that. oh yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he yeah. don't have a gun. So I have to. All of all of our road trips start out with. Remember, if we get pulled over, this is yours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how all of my road trips start out too. But it's not guns. <laughs> hey, I remember driving. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, every road trip with my dad was, hey, if we get pulled over, this, this is your mine. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a time yeah. or two. Uh, well, I mean, that's a hell of a way to start the day, but really, that literally just happened as we sat down that, here. That changed my whole day right there. Yeah, it did mine too. Wow. I mean, I thought, you know, any day, man, we should be getting that approval letter. In, yeah, you, you, look, know? you look like you're upset. Sounds yeah, like sucks. you sh- yeah. sounds like the universe is telling you to to shoot for it literally. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Or or just I, can't. I I I wouldn't mind having another one, but I can't have my two kids that far apart. Can't have another baby in the house. Oh, I got you. Oh. You know, and the whole point of doing this is because man, Aiden makes me feel like shit all the time. You know, he used to always, when am I going to get a brother? When am I going to get a sister, you know? And no, it's just, just not going to happen. It's a little late. It is. No, it's definitely too late to have a new one. Hmm. Yeah, because he'd be wanting to do all the brother and sister stuff, and he's just too old for yeah. it. Yep. They weird. wouldn't have nothing in common. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I understand lots of people out there probably, or, you know, the four people out there, somebody's going to say, oh, no, I had a brother who was 10 years older than me. We get along fine, but come on now. Yeah, but all his friends were touching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Danger zone. Sorry. Sorry. That got weird. Uh, okay, maybe that's just where I'm from. You know? <laughs> That was just on your street. That was just yeah, that was at his house. <laughs> that was just, you know, that was just Roofer Street. <laughs> uh, so, well, the hey, amen, my heart goes out to you, brother. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, big time. Uh, but if you want me to stop by and help you out on that deal, I could, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what, no, but, you, no, you but you, really, he can. You think you can make a six-year-old come out? I might have. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him make a lot of shit happen. I mean, that, that may happen. 
Oh, uh, man. Well. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Yeah, that sucks, brother. Yeah. I mean, you can always go back to adopting dogs and cats and shit. No. No? No, I'm, You're out I'm of over that? the pets, man. Okay. Hey, I'm, look. I'll just go another route. There's other people hey, out there besides no, DHS, a, right? There's another route, brother. No, I, no, I know there is. And <laughs> hey, Aaron yells at me all the time well, about it. There's a couple of different routes, really. Yeah. There's that market that's a little off color. I know a little bit about it. There's that market. Hey, there's that route. But then there's the really easy route that that guarantees the characteristics and DNA and, and bond that you would have with your own child. Yeah. Make Aiden a little bit cooler and get him a girlfriend. Because I can guarantee you, I'm, I was thinking about trying to have another kid at one point in my life, but Corbin's going to make this deal happen quick. Yeah. Yeah. You know is. what I mean? He is. Cause, cause, You're going to be raising some grandkids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah he's going to be a granddad. Gonna, there's going to be so many kids around me. It don't matter. Because Corbin, that boy, he's four right now. I guarantee you. He, he will just... And he's going to drop him off at my house in his 78 Trans Am and be like, what the fuck you want me to do with this? And he's going to drive off. <laughs> he's four going on. Yeah. So, you know, in this day and age, it's not unheard of for a kid to have a kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your boy's about there. Yeah. Yeah. Get him out there, man. Yeah, that's Put what on, I said. I don't, want, I don't want the whole diapers and all that get, that baby, <laughs> baby stuff. Get him on Tinder. Make him do all that. It's his kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's responsible. Yeah. You I know? mean, he's yeah. what, 11, 12? Yeah, he's, his, his turtle, his he's turtle on his hasn't way. died yet. Yeah. <laughs> he's still got his turtle. <laughs> he's still got that turtle, man. Yeah. I had to feed that oh, bitch all shit. week. No shit. Yeah, he was gone. Oh, my goodness. And then, it, you know, then when he's in school and stuff, you can take care of the kid. But then yeah. when he's, you know, when you want to go do shit, you make him take yeah, care of Yeah, I mean, then it's his. Here. <laughs> God damn it. Watch this, kid. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean that's an option. It's yeah. there, I'll look into that. There's always ways. I'll, I'll talk it over there and see what yep. she thinks. And then you know, <laughs> yeah. there's other stuff like do that now. You know, <laughs> you, hey, you win a couple of big races. You know, you could buy one. Yeah, you know, just Maybe. keep your eye out for a a real methed out loser with a baby bump. Yeah, it's like, like with a baby bump. It's like, hey, <laughs> it's like, hey, it's like getting a car with no let, title. You let, <laughs> 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 That, we all have done that. Get that shit notarized. Nobody cares. <laughs> shit. Get some papers. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. You know, we've all, we've all titled a pro mod on the street. It's I mean, the same thing. it can be done. Yeah. <clears throat> just, just look at the meth head and be like, hey, I, I see you let that deal go a little too long. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> yeah. Where's the baby daddy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's, he's down no, around the corner. He's nowhere around, no, right? Hell no. He, he wouldn't miss it anyway. He's in that sewer pipe. Uh, well, now it's. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Bum, bum, ba, da, mm. Yeah. Hey, that's part of it. Yep. Part of what? No, it's not. I don't, I don't know. It's you not blew us away with understand. this deal. It's not part understand. of it. That's not That's not the way the universe should be. You should, life sucks, brother. Yeah. Hey, and there's lots way. of kids out there that life sucks for, and I feel like I could make a kid's life better. Yeah, and you and can't help And now they're going to fucking tell me I can't because when I was 18 years old, I fu- I'm, you know, I was a piece of did shit. Did some shit? Yeah, you allegedly. Because I, I allegedly did some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I still never admit to nothing. Got me on some bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that your car? No. <laughs> and I don't know what's in it, but that shit ain't mine either. No. <laughs> nope. Uh, you know, hey, man. The universe will take care of you, whatever yep. it is. If I promise, if it's, it's meant it's, to be. It's got some weird way of knowing what you can handle and what you can't. And right now, maybe it's not your thing, or maybe, maybe the kid that you would get right now would grow up to be a you know a nut job and smack you and beat you to death with a hammer or something. Yeah. You know, you just don't know. This may have saved your life, but also something else may come up. My brother's out of jail. I'm probably gonna Look, go buy a car today. Just gonna let you know. <laughs> They let my brother out of jail. If they I, let my brother out of jail, you could get a kid, dude. That yeah. shit could happen. Did you yeah. see him back around the bicycle yet? <laughs> the one that he's trying to get running? <laughs> God damn, dude. I felt so bad for him. The yesterday. bicycle. He come fucking he's running trying around. to get running. <laughs> he come running around. He's like, Let's, that, I says, is there a fucking a motor open, on that yeah, thing? We probably shouldn't talk there's about that bicycle. open case All right, on that. Yeah. Somebody's, <laughs> probably, somebody's probably looking for it. Yeah, I guarantee it. <laughs> All right, there's nobody, uh, but, nobody but, back here you know, on the Basically, bike. what I was trying to get at is if they let my brother out and said, you're okay to be around normal people, then anything could happen, brother. Don't give up yet. You know what I mean? There's ways. There are ways. Raising Arizona, 
No, oh, no, no. Hey, I've thought that about show. that. I, I've told Aaron a lot. No, that one, I'll, that one right there will work. Yeah. Let's just go. Start the car, bitch. Yeah, let's get it. Go. <laughs> start the start the scion. Pull it right get up. Get some front. candy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Goddamn. Get Jeff. some get candy. Some candy. <laughs> he, he, he's <laughs> creeping this whole fucking deal Jeff's out, isn't he? Making it way too creepy. <laughs> <laughs> get some candy. Go to the candy aisle. I'll meet you outside. Hey, you're already at Walmart. I mean, what the fuck? Someone's gonna have that old man walk around with candy in his pocket all the time. <laughs> Jingle a piece of candy. <laughs> he walk, walk around the fair. <laughs> hey, the fair's going on. The fair There's is going yeah, on. That's a, that's a oh, big you could get a kid out real, there hey, quick. So, hey, and somebody would let me. <laughs> yeah, no, They'd they, be like, no, go ahead. My parents used to drop me off at the fair hoping somebody would pick me up. Yep. <laughs> you know, that was until I got old enough to, you know, carry shit off with them. <laughs> 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 Until you were able to join the team. Yeah. Then I was a contributing <laughs> member of the family, goddammit. <laughs> then I was important. Now he's contributing. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Uh, Not really, though. Well, well, I don't really know where to go from there. Man, no, you kind of caught me off guard with that deal. Yeah, I, I did me too. Blew me away. I didn't even know they was really going to send a letter. I mean, I just I thought, just figured they'd stall you out. I did, yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they just fix the glitch? I just, I just, fucking, just why did they have to tell me? Off you too, go. Too much of a I piece of shit. You, <laughs> instead of sending you a letter, they just stall you out. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like, like now we're looking. It's, we're, it's know, in. It's in the works. It's yeah. in, hey, we're you know I'm working on it. We it's got in some, the proper channel. We got some things. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, it's probably sitting on a, a desk right now. There's a pile and of then stuff. A few you know. weeks later, they give you you're on a waiting list, and then winter comes, and you don't even think about it anymore. Yep. And the next summer, you go. What happened with that day yeah, you know yeah. what i mean and they go yeah yeah no we're close yeah no, we're close, yeah, yeah. We're close. We're close. Yeah. then you forget about yeah. it you know mm-hmm. just like they do with people that need a heart and then they die and nobody cares yep yeah you know they, they waited we're, it we're out. Working except on the family a, except the family still going what the fuck no they're they're at the fucking lawyer's office going what do we get <laughs> yeah <laughs> cash me in <laughs> yeah. that's how shitty the universe is now <laughs> you know yeah. everybody in the family is going what what type are you what blood type yeah. are you don't yeah. shh don't tell nobody we need him yeah how long you got? <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man. But, you know, I will say, if you know, a lot of the reason why I love you is because you don't give a fuck. At all. But at the same time, you might start thinking about a lot of the reasons that weird <laughs> things happen to you, maybe because of your behavior, you know, like making fun of. You know, handicapped people. The dude, oh, hey, the hose, the hose. The hose. <laughs> oh, that was fucking. I'm not gonna awesome. quit doing that shit. <laughs> that, but that, but I'm just saying. You know, then you know, you just gotta be. Fucking. Well, then who would I be? Yeah, you'd be, you'd be fake. You'd be fake. But then you gotta be fucking about everything though. I I, I take it. Okay, I'm okay, not cool. bitching, okay. saying you know, I am saying, why is this happening? But. <laughs> I'm not saying, look at that guy's got a fucking You know kid. what? He there's, don't deserve it, but I do. I'm there's one thing you can guarantee. Ago. You just said that. You there's said one thing you can guarantee. They do. The they do. They do, though. <laughs> if you got another kid, he'd be just like you. Yeah, no, he'd be making fun of the Aiden's handicap, too. just like me. <laughs> Perfect. I know. He says shit sometimes, and I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> you probably shouldn't say that. Filter. Brother, thank the universe. Aiden is not just like you. I he's, know Aiden. Hey, he's a good kid, but, but he has a good he, heart. No, he does. He's he got a, a lot of heart. Aaron, but he's he's a smart ass. Yeah, no, he's you know? a no. Oh, he got that. He's on. a fucking he's, he's a fucking smart ass, and, he's and, a, and he and, wants to sit around and make fun of other people all the time. Yeah, I don't know but, who gets that? For but him. thankfully, Fuck. he does it in private. Yeah, under his breath. Yeah, he does not not to their face. Microphone. Yeah, oh not, well, yeah, but I don't like talking behind people's backs. Yeah, but, that's what I'm saying. He's a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> if he's going to judge people, he's going to do it in his own home under yeah. his breath, just like everybody else in America. He's, yeah, yeah, but that you're the you're the one that you know. Case in point, uh, uh, we went we to go. the we, there was a big race in Bristol. Big right? race, the big race, big race, big race in Bristol. That's that race that gave us all E. coli. Uh, yeah, my God, hearing from him cough in his helmet, hands, dude. Oh my yeah, God. I'm just now getting over. It. I'm not. I'm still oh not over God. it. That, yeah, we really that that race got everybody sick. But as we're there, uh, <laughs> I had rented a home for the weekend to, <laughs> because <laughs> it was pretty badass. It was. It was badass. The swimming was, pool. You don't rent deal. fucking piece of shit. No, no, no it was pretty think, nice. I mean, okay, look. You're you're big chief. Say you're big chief. I know you're not, but say you are. <laughs> what an asshole! Okay, you go to a hotel, right? Yep. And you park your rig. Everybody and, knows your rig, and and you, you got to work on it. 
You know what I mean? At night, you sit around and think about all the cool things you could be doing to your race car. You can't do that in a hotel parking lot because there's people camped out there and there's weirdos and there's nutcases and there's, you know, yep, a lot of them. Mm-hmm. But and you're they, my you're my hero on that because that picture you shot of me, I said, where are you at? You shot a picture of the car out of the trailer between the house and the fucking swimming pool. Yeah. So bad. Well, if you're going to yeah. get it's with the pit mat out, it's it, it's hot as hell there. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, hey, we got the car. We set the pit up right there at the oh, house. That was awesome. And there's a pool there so I could go swimming. I could work on a car. You know, hey, you're famous. You it know was, what I mean? I mean, I'm not rich, but I'm famous, right? Yeah. It was awesome. So, you know, your Airbnb to crib. You know what I mean? There's a lot of weird things about the Airbnb we'll get into. You know, it's, it's weird. Mm-hmm. It is mm-hmm. weird staying in somebody else. It is. It's weird staying in somebody's house. Yeah. yeah. Just, Sleeping in somebody's bed. You know they just, just jacked off the night before. I mean, right you always got that, that. Right, right there in that bed. Damn. And then you did the same oh, that's not with <laughs> yeah, yeah, right behind him. That wasn't you just put it right shit. on top of him. That was, yeah. Oh, God. Like a fucking sandwich. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, just just, just, oh. hey, just like this, just mm, all in his pillow. Oh. You did your head all in his pillow. Look at him. You just freaked him out. Yeah, no, that's not the weird shit I was talking about. Oh, okay. Let's hear your weird shit. Just, oh, yeah. I don't know if it even compares now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was Look, talking you, about, you fucked up the story. Uh, like I was talking about, like the weird shit. You know, it's, it's different weird shit. It's it's like you you know do you do you close the blinds? Do you walk around naked? Do they have cameras? You're never gonna see. You know them. They mean? got the nanny cams. Yeah, do they got a nanny cam. Yeah, they got the nanny you know cams. What I mean? That shit's gonna be on fucking. Yeah, they're gonna see YouTube. big big chief swinging dong walking around their house, <laughs> yep. smoking a joint. You know? <laughs> yep. Like, yep. And do you get the smell out of the house before they get back? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. do they care if it smells like weed in their house? It it, it had a it had a stench. Uh, <clears throat> the neighbors. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear you. So, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's a neighbor at this house. I got the car out on the jacks. So I'm getting it ready. I'm working on it. I'm listening to music. I'm doing my thing. It must have been too loud. It was, yeah. <laughs> Not You're at all. You're shitty. So this guy comes walking up. And, dude, this is out in the fucking country. Like, I try and get houses away from everybody, right? You were, you were real close to nobody. Yeah, I mean, there was nobody yeah. there. But yeah. this guy comes walking up out of fucking nowhere. And I'm in, like, swimming trunks and shit. I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, hey, hey. Like, mm-hmm. my race car is just hanging out, music going, you know. Like, hey. <laughs> and he's all, gives me the nod, you know. And then he just keeps looking at the car. And I'm, like, talking and shit. And he's, like, not not really responding. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's problem, you know. And I'm like, can I help you with something? Didn't even turn around. No, and I was shit. like, "Oh yeah, this motherfucker, he about to piss me off." You know what I mean? So then I turned the music down so you could hear me. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when the music gets turned down. Not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he he was deaf, so he, oh, didn't know- <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know that I turned the music down on him. So he didn't know I just upped the tone. <laughs> he didn't even know what kind of music Chief likes. <laughs> He had to feel it. (laughs) That shit was going through his body. He thought the car was running. (laughs) That's fucked up. (laughs) This is what Chief was just talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So so this guy's like, he's standing there and he's like, I'm a big fan. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, man. I'm sorry. I, I have to. I mean, hey, I can't do the deaf accent. Oh, Dude, yes, shit. you can. You did it great that no. day. <laughs> I can't do it. So he's like, "I'm a big fan." I was like, "Oh, thank, thank you." And then I realized, like, "Oh shit, he's retarded." He, but he wasn't retarded. <laughs> <laughs> You're just making fun of him. He's taking the fuck off. <laughs> and he says, "I'm an asshole." I should be more like him. No, but and I, sensitive to yeah, people. Said, but I had sensitive to hey, retard. I had no. <laughs> hey. No, I didn't know. That's I had empathy up. for him. Okay, I thought, let's see where he's going for <laughs> Yeah, look, all right, good. I had empathy for him. I'm yeah, like, you're I'm, right. <laughs> yeah, you did. I did. I said, oh, shit. I'm and then he was like, I can't wait till Sean gets here so I can tell him. Pass that over here. No, I was like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't know, right? So then I'm like trying to be cool, and I'm like, hey, man, you know what's going on? And he said he lived up the road or whatever, and he said he... He watches all the shows, you know, and I was like, hell yeah. Hey, he knew a lot too. Like, and then I'm like, well, okay, he's not retarded. Like this kid, this dude's <laughs> sharp. Cause he's like, you don't got smoke book. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. I, it's still a small block. And he goes, he's bad. He's bad. I said, yeah. And he said, I want every episode. <laughs> I'm not making fun of him. 
making fun of him. I swear to God, this is the way, dude. What the fuck? Like you can make fun of the way everybody talks about fucking deaf people. I don't get it. Like they, he can't hear me anyway. He's not listening. No, 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 man. Hey, and I'm the piece of shit. Hey, hey but I'm not making fun of the guy. Okay. No, not at so all. So then, like, so he's standing there and he's like, he's like talking all about the car. He knows all about it. I'm like, God damn, this dude's a fan for real. And so then I'm like thinking, like, hold up, like. How does he know all this though? If you're deaf, right? And you watch Street Outlaws. What do you really get? <clears throat> so is yeah, there like closed caption for the hearing impaired? Right. So in the little corner, is there somebody that pops up and has to? I think to you read. I think them? you read it. I think it comes across what people say. You oh, know the fucking. Okay. That's what closed caption mean, isn't it? Uh, right. Okay. So it's just like subtitles. Yeah, that's, that's it. what. Subtitles. That's that, that's exactly cool. what. It no, is. Not blind. You were I thinking mean, there, there was some, <laughs> there's no, Hey, there's no. Hey, there's no grill. There's no grill. Oh, that, goddamn mouse. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? There's a mouse fucking trap. That's a rat. That's a rat nest. That's a goddamn rat's nest in the desk. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. No, no. Something jumped out at him and it scared the shit out of him. There's a rat's nest in this fucking desk. That's a big rat's nest. But what's it been getting that out of? It really likes rubber bands. Some sort of jacket. And yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have any hanging here. No, that I mean, looks look, like a, that looks like a good. It looks like a good big flannel. Man, that's weird. Yeah. Okay, we got. <clears throat> we should do. So, anyways, I mean, there's no bumps that pop up on the TV or anything. Yeah. You know, and he reads <laughs> so, it with yeah, his fucking so, okay, hands. Okay, I get it now. He's not blind. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was just thinking, like, how does he fucking watch the show? Okay, so there's subtitles, so he can read. Okay. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> okay, so, but still, like, it was pretty wild. So then, but you know, with deaf people, like. They're smart, so they talk to you and they say things that, you know, that are intellectual and you have an actual conversation with the guy. He sounds a little different, but you have a normal conversation. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be like talking to somebody from Jamaica or something. You know yep. what I mean? They yeah. sound a little different, but they talk fine and they smoke good, you know, so everything's cool. Smoke yeah. good, well, then, yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, then <clears throat> I'm standing there <laughs> and he leaves, and I was like, that was cool. He came down, said his piece, got the fuck out of here. Yep. Beautiful. Now I know. I don't have to turn the music down. I'm not worried about offending the neighbors. Fuck it, right? I'm going to do my thing. So then, As I, opposed to earlier, you were worried about it. Well, no, I just thought maybe the you know the people when I move away that have to live there every day are going to have thinking, to deal with this guy. He's thinking, you know fuck I mean? it, I'm only here a week. Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah exactly. <laughs> I mean, what right? are they going to yeah, do to me? Yeah. No shit, right? <clears throat> so, but I'm thinking now at least like nobody's going to complain when I leave. My Airbnb gets a good check. We're, got, we're golden. Well then, I call I call the homies over because now fuck it, right? We're gonna hang out. <laughs> yeah, but hey, I was lost. I was lost leaving the track, and I don't really know what happened out in that area. But you know, I didn't really have any service, so I'm lost driving around and passed his fucking house. Did you pass it? <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Hey, I went. <laughs> and he was standing out there by his trailer. I have no idea. Hey, and then the rest for for two days after that, I looked for the house and couldn't fucking find it. But when Sean finally shows up. The, you know, the neighbor homie had just left, you know, and, <laughs> and, and so Sean gets out and I'm telling Sean the story. Of and course, like, he couldn't wait to tell me. I'm like, you this know? dude knew everything about the show. He knew everything about the motor. Like he was a, he, he knows his shit, you know? Yep. And then we're still talking and he's like, so he was just checking out your car. I said, yeah, he just walked up out of the woods, started checking out my car and shit. And then Sean the goes, woods. you should have fired up. Let him hear it. <laughs> 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 and I was like, "You're an asshole." He goes, "You should have at least asked him." Like, "Hey, you want to hear it? You want to hear it?" Because I bet he does. <laughs> that motherfucker sound good. Oh, for who? It sound good. You hear it pumping? That's a that's a whole gas cam. That is a whole gas cam. <laughs> so, yeah, you know he wanted to hear it though. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't hear anything. He'd have heard a feet have fucking heard a chainsaw if you let him. You should have you should fire that bitch up and put it on the two step for his ass. <laughs> he just covered him in M5. Yeah. He'd have felt it. He'd have been crying. Yeah, for sure. So then so like after that, we started discussing the fact that Sean just don't give a fuck. At all. You know what I mean? You know, and, and Sean would have been like, You not hearing me? I told you to get the fuck out of here. You know? <laughs> what are you, deaf or something? <laughs> So, <laughs> so, so then Jeff Lutz shows up. <sighs> and so now we got Jeff Lutz, who absolutely cares about no one in the human race. Yes. Nobody. No matter what ailment. Hey, he's as bad as no I am. No one is safe. Worse. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Or worse. Because, he, and he, he is, yeah. 
So yeah. I'm thinking, the here we go. Yeah. Like these two. Well, then we get we, we get reminded of the oh, story. Oh, it's bad if you get us both together. Yeah, oh, my he's God. a little older than me, so he's lived his life. So he's at this That's point, he's up. like, I'm 47, like, people. How old are you? So, so what at this the point fuck? in his he life, he's me like, I got a 10 good years life. ago. You know, what the I'm not fuck? holding nothing back. <laughs> I ain't holding shit back. I'm at the age where I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> what the fuck? You make it sound like But hey, but I can claim I'm old. What? Is that wrong? Fucking pants right now. And we'd all go, yeah. It's Jeff. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, but somebody, it may happen. Somebody starts saying, Jeff, you can't say that to, about people like that. Nobody you know, even says that to Jeff. Jeff goes, back in my day. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, I just say. put a bell on him or something. <laughs> <laughs> Clip a bell to the back of the shirt. He wouldn't even know. <laughs> oh, you fucking guys. So, I love it. So then Sean starts telling us this story, okay? And the story goes. <laughs> he, I can't even keep a straight face. Because you're old. He's, Fuck he's, you. He's driving, oh. he's driving through the You're going to tell this story, huh? Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna. to. All right. <laughs> 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 so, 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 there are there are unfortunate accidents and and just unfortunate things in general that leave people just completely incapacitated, right? Like like paraplegics and like yep. you know, yep, just just can't move arms, legs, fingers, nothing. Literally, have no, they can't do anything, right? Yep. And they're, but there's, there's still people and they're still fans of the show and they still want to see us race. Okay. Well, well <laughs> so, so, the, I'm sorry. so the, the, you know, the way it goes is like, if you're one of that, that type of human, you have like, some of them have a tube, you know, that runs up and, and that's how they make their wheelchair go the yeah, way like they like Christopher work. Reeves. They make their wheelchair go. He got a fuck deal there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was his dumb ass fault. On that fucking horse. I was say, that was Damn. his fault. That was it his fault. He's a paraplegic. <laughs> Christopher Reeves? Superman. Because he thought he was Superman and jumped off a fucking building. That's not really what happened, was it? Was no, he, he, got, he got kicked off a horse, man. I don't know oh, what don't, the fuck you're talking like about. Skiing. Oh, he did get His kicked fucking by horse, his no, horse stopped get and he went off head first. Done. That is what Now happened. he's blown in a fucking Who's straw. Fucking and that's his fault. Was it the real Superman that fucking died that thought that he was, was really he's fucking Superman? Real Superman? No, like the first one. Oh, no, that's Jeff Superman. Our Superman. <laughs> <laughs> the Superman our generation grew up with was Christopher Reeve. <laughs> hey, he did, hey, he did get kicked by I, a horse. I, I I that. No, no, no. He jumped off a horse. He fell off a horse. But yeah. my Superman's the same as y'all, so fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that faggot is blown through a straw right now. <laughs> so the theory, the theory is that. That you blow into the straw and it makes the wheelchair go one way. You suck on the straw, it makes the wheelchair go the I mean, other way. I think that's how it works. I don't, I don't even know. Well, it apparently know. wasn't working for that All dude you were watching. Is that Sean's driving through the pits? I was riding. You Phantom, were, Phantom was driving. Phantom was driving. He's going to throw you in here too, Phantom. <laughs> Phantom's driving. Sean's riding. A wheelchair runs out in front of you. Yeah, he, he rolled right out in front of us. And you could tell he... He he zigged whenever he should have zagged, and I'm pretty sure but what did he happened. See you? Well, eventually he what? I mean, <laughs> eventually, I don't eventually know if he, he just, saw he was fixing to get run over. I think so, and but I, all I know is I seen him over there, and he's <laughs> you know he was he was blowing he was blowing on that straw, oh, and, he, oh and I God. feel like I feel like he should have been sucking on that straw. <laughs> Instead of blowing on it, because we just damn near ran his ass over. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Can you fucking imagine what would have happened if you would have oh ran god. over someone in a wheelchair? No. I'd give him a shirt and send him on his way. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. I can't feel my legs. Oh damn. Hey, 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 this is our fate, guys. That shit, was, gonna happen that shit was done before you was going to run yeah. over. Yeah. <laughs> we, we wouldn't hurt him any worse. Not a bit. <laughs> you look way cooler with your shirt on, though. <laughs> hey, 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 Ten Bucks said he already had one of our shirts <laughs> on. Right Everybody else out there did. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, and it's and like we said, I mean, it's an unfortunate accident, it, and it can happen to any one of us, you know. And hey, if it <laughs> happens, happens, hey, if it fucking happens though, <laughs> you blowing and sucking no more. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Wait a minute! You just said that the, it's, a, it's a fortunate accident. Shit happens, or people hey, too. You're, they are. So if I end up in a wheelchair, you're not gonna hang out with me. You know what, dude? Jay, I can that's hear a lot it now. Of work. Are we what going? Are you talking That's about, about, talking about? Me, <laughs> I'm the one in the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah but we're not I cruising. Put you in the car. Hey, hey. Matt, Matt, we're not cruising there. no minivan and shit. You Fuck know, that. Change your bag. Get in the van. I have tuned and stood behind. I have tuned and stood behind your piece of shit car so many no. fucking times. I, and I appreciate that shit. <laughs> yeah, but that just fu- fucking helped me. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Can you st- can you still tune? <laughs> oh, so, my God. so when we now I know where. So I'm how at. how bad is how bad is you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what are we talking here? What are we talking here? How bad you, is you? Can you? Still, you can still roll around and use your fingers. I mean, he's got a laptop. Dude. It's on his lap. All right, wait. I know where I'm at with you, <laughs> but okay. I can see it. If we're in a hurry, are we waiting on him. Ah, fuck him. <laughs> oh, we told I can him. Hear it now. <laughs> His fucking batteries yeah. are dead. We're out of here. <laughs> hey, I'll send, him, I'll send him a text and say, "Look, man, we're tired of waiting. We're gonna roll." <laughs> I was gonna say, plug yourself to, in. I was gonna say, I need you to lower the two three. Can you roll by the pit? <laughs> hey, can you swerve by here? Oh, yeah. Hey, one thing's for sure: way. he can't go radio racing because his wheels will stick to the fucking track. <laughs> oh damn! That's not that's not true because my homie from Chicago that's yep, in a wheelchair. He's cool. He's he does cool. It. He oh, does yeah. it. Hey, now he did get run over one time because they couldn't see him back there. Yeah, but hey, yep. he does it. And he, he, he goddamn sure happen. does. Oh, wheels, wheels, no, wheels. No, yeah, no, he wheels was. Wheels, oh, wheels, wheels does too. Wheels don't help nobody at the racetrack. He just Man, rides around like, looking at snatch. He does. He does do that. <laughs> he does. Hey, no hey, he's right that. level. I mean, he's he's, dead yeah. on. Yeah, you're damn what right else he is he supposed is. to look yeah. at? Well, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yes, what's up? yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 And from what I've heard, you know, and all the dick pics that are out there, his shit works. Fucking right, so it he's does. good. That's what I've heard too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all right. Uh, no, the other dude from Chicago. Yeah, he'd be sending girls dick pics all the no, fucking he's from time. From Detroit? And shit. Is he from Detroit? He's from Detroit. Detroit or Chicago? Which he, one? He's he from Chicago. I can't remember his name. They're right there together. Uh, Wesley. No, yeah. the Ooh. other one. God damn it! What's his name? <clears throat> I don't know. He's cool as fuck. He came Brad? out here to the... Huh? I just know... No, that's uh, Wheels. That's no, he Wheels, he came right? down here a couple times for the street races uh, with the Detroit dudes, I thought. Pretty oh, sure. Oh, fucking right, man. That yeah. dude's awesome. Yeah, hey, that was, dude is fucking... <laughs> hey, yeah. all we we talked about that shit, I was like, man, look, these cars about to come up here. You better roll your ass out of here. You know, <laughs> yeah. hey, and dude, he's a, he's a cool motherfucker. I don't know what his name is. Yeah, hey, I bullshitted I with him for probably 20 minutes at the last is, street race. He is fucking hilarious. He's fucking funny. Hey, and I told him. Hey man, when shit like this fucking happens, at least you got a fucking, at least you got a sense of humor. He said, "What else do I got?" Yeah, no shit. You know. Yeah. So I feel like oh, I'd probably have a sense of humor. You'd it, have there'd to. be, you'd be a little bit of time. I'd have yeah. to, you know, eventually come around. But I just can't believe you wouldn't fucking be my friend no more. Man, I'd have to really consider that deal. It, Look, it, man, it, if you're, I didn't say I wouldn't be your friend. Oh, okay. You just wasn't gonna hang out with me. Well. <laughs> I think you would hold him back. There's there's different what? levels of friendship. He's been holding me back for 20 <laughs> fucking years. I can't hold him back. <laughs> Man, no. <laughs> you know him. I've been dragging Sean along like a club foot for 20 fucking hey. years. This motherfucker is going to ditch me. As soon as I get in a wheelchair, he's going to ditch me. Look, man, this friendship just ain't working out. <laughs> I feel it's you, it's I, me. Yeah, I feel you have nothing to offer me anymore. Is your laptop charged up? <laughs> Look, man, man you're going to have to put a battery on this thing so I can plug it in or something. <laughs> no, but for real, what y'all, y'all motherfuckers do, be like, hey, we get to park up there with you, though, right? <laughs> I know you they right. only give you one of those passes. You bring in the van? <laughs> you guys are fucking dicks. And that's what I'm talking about. John said that guy should have sucked when he was blowing or whatever because his wheelchair was all over the place shaking the tires and shit. Yeah. What? And and in his defense, it was a little muddy over there, so he could have just lost traction. (laughs) See what I mean? See? And I'm standing there and I'm looking at him and he's fixed. This is the night before the race. Yep. He's getting ready to get in his brand new car. Yeah, but I already had like five passes in it and none of them went straight. So I was pretty sure if I'm going to hit the wall, I'm going to hit the fucking wall. But, But with all that being said, our lives are so dangerous. Like, yes, there are people out there that just think, how can you guys act like that when they're, when you have what we don't like, why would you risk 
your limbs? Why would you risk being able? Why would you do that every weekend? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then after, and then even though you do, because we put three thousand pound death machines yep. down a sketchy ass road every fucking chance we get, like a bunch of dumbasses. Yeah. And I've <laughs> even been involved in a crash that could have left me in a wheelchair, and Sean would have dumped me. <sighs> Man. I remember Come to that find dude. Out. Come to find out, <laughs> I'm, I'd probably I'm be really sitting glad. right where you're sitting right now. Yeah, yeah. this is the uh, there's Sean, not room to get you in there. This is you'd a, have, oh, you'd oh, have to sit over here. Oh, We'd have to move to the love seat. Damn. <laughs> damn. Hey man, this it, it's it, it's what makes us who I am, and we've talked about this before, man. I and I hurt a lot of people's feelings, and I don't even know it, you know, because I, I just I, I'm not wired the way everybody else is. I don't mean. To hurt people's feelings. I mean, I've sometimes literally, you do, I've li- yeah, no, sometimes I do, but I've literally made chicks cry before. And then I go, what the fuck is wrong with you? I have no fucking idea what I just said offended you. I don't know why. I don't, I don't have that part of me. Maybe it's a heart. I don't know what it is. I, I feel like I have a heart, but maybe I just don't understand. Some you do. Things that you do. I, but he has, but no, I no, he say has it, no empathy for other it. people. That's in it. Other yeah. people's situations. But okay. That, that makes you, you never. Though. Nothing's no. too soon. No, a, never a, too an soon. Old lady could fall down. And Sean goes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, look, where were we? We were, it just happened. We were, <laughs> it did. We were, it did. I remember I grabbed you because I didn't want you to miss it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so you so, so your back was turned and I grabbed you and said, look, look, look. Hey, because I seen that motherfucker falling and I didn't want you to miss it. Hey, who's a buddy we now? We did. We were in a who's, group. Who's the buddy we now? We were waiting in between rounds and we're standing next to each other talking in a group. Hey, and some, some person was falling down in the middle of falling down. And Sean tells me to shut up, grabs me, and says, look, 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 he's going to fall, he's going to fall. <laughs> and, and then as soon as dude hits the ground, Sean just fucking dying laughing. Hey, dude, he was trying to grab a hold of a golf cart. <laughs> it was going entirely too fast for him to run. <laughs> I knew, oh, hey, dude? yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, I knew, awesome. I knew it was gonna be good. I knew it was gonna be good. Hey, that motherfucker rolled oh, for at least ten feet. Oh, he was he so was mad, and I felt terrible because everybody else was kind of looking over their shoulder, and Sean turns me right to him. <laughs> so when he turned to look and see if anybody's looking, I'm laughing, looking right at him, like like it was a dick move. <laughs> man. He was. Hey, stepping. but aren't you glad you didn't miss it? <laughs> yeah. And then I tried to say something funny to make it seem like it wasn't that big a deal, and I was like, man, that's fucked up. They're gonna dump the only brother here off the back of a golf cart yep. and then Bernie stands Bernie behind steps me on. and Bernie goes what the fuck do you mean <laughs> only brother here and I was like what god you damn it Bernie you too goddamn big be fighting uh, yeah hey god that dude man. gave it the best shot hey he, he tried mad he tried huh? man he was fucking fucking pissed. camera went Shay, but aren't you glad hey, isn't it much better than us explaining to you what happened that you got to see it <laughs> no but Sean you're not supposed to go out of your way to include other people in other oh, people's misfortunes. Nah, see, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wouldn't you want to know? <laughs> fucking wouldn't right. You wanna, if you have he the always does that. Look at that. this. Look at this. If you have, the, I seen it coming. Oh, so it fucking I had awesome. time you didn't to fucking. Tur- I, he was fifty foot from us. How could I help him? I don't know. By the time you got my attention, <laughs> stop, and turned stop. Me around, hey, By the time you got my attention and turned to me around, he was still falling. The, yeah, cam- no, the like camera was hitting the ground. Yeah. I feel God like you could have tried. It was funny though. It was good. It was, and, <laughs> and when you my said, stomach hurts right now from laughing. And so I'm saying, I'm telling Sean this. We, we had a little talk, and I'm like, do you ever wonder if maybe, just maybe, that that's why you have such a hard time with certain things? Like, yeah, if maybe this is punishment for being such an asshole. And he goes, Well, no, I'm just an idiot. That's why I can't get my car to go straight. It has nothing to do with me talking about handicapped people. <laughs> And I was like, okay. Hey, I've right. been this way my whole life. I've had fucking some success. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's not that. Hey, I'm not I'm not talking about people any more or any less than what I always have. Hey, and at one I, point in my life I had some fucking success with a car. I mean, so it's just we ain't got a handle on it yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get it. Yeah, hey, hey, we're gonna get it. It's gonna come you around. Know, and I'm the total opposite. Like I have to, I want to do everything the exact perfect way before I get in the car. So like if the guy in the round before came up and found me and shook my hand and I signed his sweaty hat or whatever, and I fucking hated it. But if I won and everything was, I was safe, I'm going to go looking for that sweaty hat. You You're going mean? to sign like, it again. Like I'm going to do anything I can because I want that, whatever it was that I did that made me go down through there safely. I want that again. So yep. like, 
I remember when I used to pick up cigarette butts. Yeah, and I, I used did to too. pick up trash. I, I remember like, that. Like, if I was on my way to the fucking driver's meeting, if I saw something on the ground, I'd pick it up. You know what no I mean? Shit. Like, oh, fuck all this. Hey, yep. I'm, any, I need any little bit I can, because, you know, my whole, I, I haven't been this nice my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> there was one point in time where I was a real piece of shit, you know? <laughs> I got, hey, I got an application said. that we could put your name on. Let's see how that deal turns out. So can you, <laughs> <laughs> so can you adopt or they not? Even, <laughs> I mean, is this? Uh, do you have a gun? They, <laughs> they won't even loan me a pen to fill out the application. Yeah. I promise you. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's. Oh man. Uh, but so, you know what? Going back to that, I'm the same way. When I get in the car, I got to put my right glove on first. It's just weird shit that you think of. Every, you know. You think, God oh, damn, I got to do it the same There's way every some, time. Because at one point in time, you did it that way, and, and you won or whatever. I mean, I'm and, superstitious, yeah. too, you know, yep. you know, but I don't know about yeah. how I treat people yeah. having anything to do yeah. with it. Fuck them. Nah. <laughs> you I know, that it. shit's going to come around. And, yep. you know, and I write notes in my phone for, like, if we ever do get to do another podcast. like <laughs> I, 98 I, I days ago or whatever here. Yeah, I put notes in here, and it says, like, it says, like, it says Bristol, under Bristol notes in my phone, it says, Explain the reason why Sean can't buy a fucking win right now. Because he makes fun of fucking handicapped people and shit. And <laughs> people in wheelchairs. And Sean's just heartless as fuck. And I love it because he a cold-ass motherfucker. That's my note. Yep. You know? And it's true. That's Check. Check. We talked to Don. <laughs> got we got it. that out of the way got early. <laughs> that was right up there with adopting. But, yep. you, you yep. Almost Even though like certain people don't like Sean for that. You know, a lot. Okay, a lot of people don't like Sean for that. You have you to. They who? still respect him for who he is because he'll say it to the wheelchair guy's face. You yep. know what I mean? Like he'll do it with. Yeah, because in my opinion, I'm not making fucking fun of him. Well, well, what? well what? No, 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 no. I'm not what? laughing at your unfortunate accident or whatever put you in there. I'm laughing at the situation. You're I mean, the way you got a suck and blow. You're, you're laughing because he made a wrong turn. Well, no, it's the whole situation. So, you know, <laughs> hey, but it's not like I'm happy that he's in that situation so that I can be amused. Yeah? Well, yeah. Okay. I but mean, you get that? But you take that situation and you make the best of it. Uh, exa- there you <laughs> go. Hey, we're making hey, the best of his situation for him. Hey, if you no. can bring a smile to somebody's face, God damn it. You brought it to mine, baby. Own, right? <laughs> <laughs> you made me smile. <laughs> You're a fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. If we could get a therapist in here right now, the shit they would I fucking... couldn't go see no therapist. Yeah, Ooh, no, we that. probably can't. I'd tell, the... them, I'd tell them what their problem is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's the deal. Look, I feel like you're just too fucking serious. Like, you ain't never going to get out of life alive. <laughs> You'd be like, do you know you got one thumb shorter than the other one? Like, you would do something to make fun of the therapist. And they'd say, we're not here about me. We're here about you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's uh, easy to say that. It is. Uh, but Bristol was... You know, awesome. it was a wild race. It was. It was no a wild doubt. race. Uh, never been to that track. The people there, unfucking believable in many different ways. Yes. All 35,000 um, of them. There was a yes. lot. There, there was, a, was lot. a lot. Yes. There was 32,000 people ish that showed up. Yep. Um, the place set on a Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday with night. No promotion. No help. Like thirty two thousand. Yeah. The 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 Tuesday after the biggest NASCAR race they hold. Yes. So you would think all the people in that area would be tapped out because NASCAR is expensive as fuck. Have you ever seen? I mean, dude, it's like nine dollars <laughs> for a drink there. Yeah. I, I don't know, think those people ever left. They were just their coolers in. You know, wallowing around the hillsides <laughs> and shit. <laughs> now you're gonna make fun of people in Tennessee. That's Not at all, up, man. Not at all. That's fucked up. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen the heels have eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, but they, were fr- well, but they, <laughs> they were great. But they were. But seriously hey, though, they were great. Motherfucker, y'all don't even know. I'm from very, very no- <laughs> yeah. near there. Just a little bit north of there is a little place called Corbin, Kentucky. Yeah, but you don't yeah. wear wife beaters and shit though I anymore. Mean, anymore. Yeah, yeah. You're used all to. dirty. He used to. Hey, I will say we did okay by not taking shirts because nobody was wearing. Them. You yep. could have sold a lot of hats, though. Or yeah. if I was an amateur tattoo artist like I am, <laughs> I could have put rebel flags all over everybody everybody there. Oh, my God. But you know what? I probably would have missed out on that, too. They would have said, nope, already nope. got one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. And they wouldn't even have to roll up their sleeve. And it just went, yeah. Oh, my fucking God. 
<laughs> with the eagle on well, the back. Hey, if, you, hey, if you're gonna come back and do a podcast, make it your last. Right? <laughs> Fuck, it. <laughs> Fuck it. This is this is the one right here, guys. Just to let you know, if you're hearing this, man, record it because it's gonna get yeah. somebody gonna take this. This probably this probably gonna be the last one. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna get Ooh. in some trouble. Damn. Uh but <laughs> Yeah, I, I whenever I first rolled into that place, I was amazed. I could not believe that people would walk that far. Yeah. That like seven miles down the road. It even says all along that highway, do not park on the road. And I thought, holy <laughs> shit, who the fuck is going to park way out here? Well, the next day. The NASCAR race. It was when we full first showed up, up out yeah, there. When we first showed up, they wanted us to go to the NASCAR race. And we got to, we were doing some promotion for the show. Yep. And so we got to go do this NASCAR thing. And it's always so fucking weird for us. Because most people that are famous always dreamed of being famous. Yep. They went to school to be famous. They trained from an early age to be famous. <laughs> Their whole family was telling them one day. You're going to be famous. You're going to be famous because you're really fucking good at this. <clears throat> and whatever it was that they were good at, people get famous for. Not us. <laughs> Everybody our whole lives was like, you're going to die. Or you're never going to amount yeah. to yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah you never be. amount to shit. I heard that one a lot. Yep. And I'm not saying that we have amounted to anything. Yeah. But, the shit part. But, yeah. but <laughs> you know. <laughs> but like. We're at this NASCAR track, and I've never been, never seen a NASCAR race. I have either. not either. I've never even seen a NASCAR. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, whatever that is. You know, like, I don't, all I know is that I know they go around in a big circle, and, you know, hey, it, you know, whatever. And every once in a while, you get to see a crash. Yeah. And my father, who, you know, who is racist, I'm, I'm not, but he is. <clears throat> and my father, like he said, he goes, go enjoy it, boy. He goes, because where else can you put 60,000 white people in one place and nobody gives a fuck? <laughs> 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 and, I, and I was like, I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> thanks, like, Dad. What the fuck yeah, is wrong with you? That's some solid advice. Yeah, solid, solid advice, advice Dad. You know? I'm going to pass that on. <laughs> you must have, you got it in the fellowship. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, but I get there and I'm just looking around. I'm like, good Lord, the energy around this NASCAR thing. Yes. It's a big deal. Yeah, it is. It's a and there's deal, a lot of tradition there. Especially to them people. Yep. Not I'm not like that. Not like you people. No, I meant like <laughs> that's fucked NASCAR up. people. That's fucked not, up. That's not a race. NASCAR isn't a race. I mean, well, okay, it is a race. Well, Those people are race. Yeah. It is a race. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of chasing damn. each they other. they got a starting line and a finish line. I'm just digging up. I hole. mean, what the fuck are they after? <laughs> Well, that's what I said, too. And, you know, we're supposed to be there promoting our show and, and doing a little cross-promotion. So, obviously, somebody at the big network that, that does that show that we get to be on every once in a while, obviously, mm -hmm. they decided that the fans of NASCAR and the fans of us should be the same or close or should yeah. at least meet each other. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So, we went. and we. But the thing is, though, they don't tell us what to say. Oh, shit. You know? No, and you don't so, just give somebody like me or any of right. us a mic in front of like press and stuff. Yeah, we're in a press release. Like we're yeah. really we're, like, sitting at sitting a desk in the booth. Oh, I'm in sorry, the, I missed the, that. We're yeah. in the uh, we're in the what is it? What is the thing that they go into to talk about the media thing? And we're in there. They're having a press release, and it's us. Yeah, and we're on we're on there, and they got a camera and a, you know a million cameras on us. All these reporters, and they got a microphone there, and they said. <laughs> They said something about, you know, NASCAR, and they were talking about, you know, 700 horsepower, 900 horsepower, or whatever. And yeah. then I just couldn't help it. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, you know, I remember high school. You yeah. know, we all had 900 horsepower in high school, too. <laughs> yep. You know, hey, and then you could just see them all kind of like, yeah, they didn't know what to say. And like, then he goes, wasn't, well, I don't know who this Dale guy is, but man, he's got a, he's junior. got a lot of fans. Yeah, I don't know who this junior <laughs> guy is, but he's got a lot Everywhere of fans. I go, they're screaming junior. You know what I mean? And really? So, yeah. So I was just like, and, you know, doing my thing. And then, then we're like talking about, we don't even know. It looks like they're all driving around in circles looking for the ET shack, where to get their time slip. You know what I mean? Like the they race just was, made a hit. The race was over before you got to the turn. Like that's the return road, yeah, you know? Yeah. And man, dude, those NASCAR fans were just like, yeah. They you know what I mean? Like, like they, they, were, they were uncrossing their eyes and we shit at us. And <laughs> 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 well. And those people what, are all I from Tennessee. I watched that shit, and I think that that's the reason their eyes are crossed. Because they said, watch that shit for so much. I couldn't you know, watch I, it. Basically, what I did, and it, I'll tell you what, it is way more enjoyable to watch in person. I mean, it's got to be. 
You know what I mean? I would think I could, <laughs> I couldn't sit and watch it on TV, but what I did was I picked this guy that I wanted to win, you know, number four. Cause I watched him for a couple of laughs. What's thought, his man, name? I have no fucking idea, man. <laughs> no idea. But I was like, this dude's fucking badass. You right. know, he's going to catch everybody. He was dead fucking last, <laughs> you know? And I was like, this motherfucker's good. And I I'd look, I'd find him. I'd go, I'd look around for, Oh, there he is. And then I'd go, yeah, you know, and then I'd have to, and then I, for two more laps, I'd look for my guy again. And then I'd see him, and how, then I'd watch him for a lap. And then somebody would say something to me, and I'd look at them. How talk. many laps? Man, they went like 500 Holy fucking laps or something. Fuck, are you I left me? after 250. <sighs> it was like drag league without the horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all just driving around. <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were just driving. They were just call driving that power around. tour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was, the, it was the fucking power yeah. tour. I'm going to be black bald. Yeah, yeah you are. Why's it got to be black? Why couldn't it be like any other color bald? That's Whatever. fucked up, Jeff. Whatever. What are you yeah. racing? Hey, you know the only NASCAR race I ever set? I can remember this. I walked to my dad's that's basement. way back then. No, no, no this wasn't that <laughs> long ago. <laughs> that's hey, it may dirty. have been a while. <laughs> hey, but... still carrying moonshine. <laughs> I sat down. <laughs> you could still pop the trunks back then. <laughs> I sat down, and it wasn't five minutes, and I watched Dale Her- Earnhardt Sr. crash. And I went home. I'm like, yeah, this is fucking gay. Yeah. My dad called me later. He said, you believe he died? I'm like, no shit. You watched him die? I watched him now, crash. That was the, the only, only one that you've ever for seen? For that five minutes, Holy I sat down, shit. watched that crash, and I went home, and he called it's me and told fault. me to, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, okay, because I wanted, I just want to, I want I want people to like us. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. going to happen, but I, I want to give us every shot. Yeah, I try, to, I, was afraid, I try to get people to like I me was too. afraid that we were going to get up there in that press box and they were going to start asking this question about NASCAR and we were just going to look... Look dumb. Just, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Burr, uh, you know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which way did they go? <laughs> yeah. And so I started trying to do a little research, you know? So I'm laying around the rental home mm-hmm. and, and doing my thing and I'm watching some YouTube and I'm watching NASCAR and, and damn... Just damn, it's not, yeah. I just can't. It's just not, I just don't do it for me. Well, then I start watching like older clips. And then there was a deal about Dale Earnhardt Sr. Yeah. Man. He was a that's, badass. That's, yeah. That was a bad motherfucker right there. They called him the well, Intimidator. Well, that motherfucker feel- crashed a car, flipped it 90 some odd fucking times. The ambulance comes flying out there. They get him out of the fucking car. They put him in the ambulance. He wakes up. Right, and he says, he says, "Where's my car?" <laughs> and they're like, "The fucking ambulance door's still open. The car's laying there, like fucked off." And he looks at it and he goes, "Well, damn." He get that bicycle. Ride? I was gonna say, I think he got the bike fired up. What was that? Was oh, that, that was Logan? my golf cart. Was that my brother riding around on his fucking bicycle? <laughs> Either that or he just stole my golf cart. <laughs> yeah, hey, well, you know, they let him out. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry, it's so legal. Sorry it's story. legal. Yeah. So they. They open the fucking door to this ambulance and Dale Earnhardt Sr. is laying there and he looks at his fucking car and he goes, well, goddamn, it's still got air in the fucking tires. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, it's a miracle. Like, lay down, sir. And then he like, he got up, got out of the fucking ambulance. They pushed the car to the pits. They duct taped the fucking thing up and he finished the goddamn no race. No shit. Yes. He did. So I can see why people would watch NASCAR back then. But I and feel I feel like, like it, now yes. it's just... Tradition. It's just tradition, strictly tradition, and that's the reason people still And they're go. trying to make it too safe. Before they're they're they trying to make it too them, safe. They didn't they? give a fuck back who's then. Who's they trying to make it too safe? NASCAR. No, it's the yeah. money. Yeah. Well, it's the you're money. right. It's it the, is the like money. It's like all the assholes that blame it on NHRA. It ain't yep. fucking NHRA. I've no. been there. NHRA, yep. let me do whatever the fuck I yeah, want. Yeah, they didn't yep. have no script for you to read, did they? Fuck no. When they had me in a press conference, first thing they said, how did it feel this morning coming through the gates at Indy? And I said, hungover. You know what I mean? Like, they didn't give a fuck. Like, And they all laughed. That's... It's not NASCAR. It's <laughs> the money behind yeah, who gets Yeah, everybody's to so scared that they're going to lose their sponsor. They're going to lose their yeah. ride. They're going to get fined. You know what I mean? They're going to get fined. That Nobody does any of that cool shit that Dale was able to do back then. He was, he was definitely badass. So then, like, I, I look, read up. I'm watching all this old NASCAR shit, and then I get there, and I'm actually kind of, like, thinking this could be cool. And then the drivers come out, and they, they look like it, I thought I was at the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was all a bunch of little bitty jockey same real young look the same yeah, they young. all sound the same they all walk the same they talk the same and it's just like ah uh, i get it but you know what whatever it is that they got they got it because my son is seven and he can tell you every driver 
Really? Every driver's name, every car number, what, who sponsors them. Wow. He knows everything about them. Yeah. Who won this race last? Who won that race they last? They definitely got the promotion he's, side down. Because he fe- my son can feel like he's part of that team. You know what I mean? Just like all the, yeah, all those people, uh, Appalachian people that we saw in Tennessee. They all wear their jacket. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I'm an Appalachian person. I can talk. I can say that. I got Do you one. have a jacket? Yeah. I, one one <laughs> of my legs is shorter than the other from standing on a hill all day. I'm all right. <laughs> uh, you know? But they're all wearing their jacket of their guy, you know, yeah. that they got at Loves or wherever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> With the M&Ms all over it. <laughs> hey, but when they see another guy wearing the M&M yeah. jacket, hey, they give him the yeah. And yeah. they puff up yeah. the chest. Yeah. Old, <laughs> yeah. old fucking Kyle Jarrett Jeffy Jr. is going to get them done today. <laughs> Like just, hat. just when we start to come out of this deal and talk a little bit good about it, <laughs> you can't we though. fuck it fuck all it. up again. You know, you hey, can't. And I'm standing there, and it's the race. And supposedly, you know, this Dale Jr. guy, it's a big deal. Everybody's hollering his name. Yeah, and they then are. They said they, then they announced it's his last race. Oh, he's quitting? Yeah. That was his last race. Well, they, he called it retire. But well, what the fuck? He's like 30, isn't he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Damn, know. they do have it figured but, out. But it's his last race. He's done. That's yep. cool. He's he's done. And I had the chance as I'm standing in our own. We had our own VIP booth to watch the race. They said once you get all your promotional shit done, you get all your autograph signed, babies kissed, you can go up to the booth by yourself in private, have some food, watch the race. Yep. I mean, like, and those other two guys. And, and, <laughs> and so, well, so I'm thinking about. It, I'm like, you know what? Hey, fuck it. Like, it once in a lifetime chance. Where does a dirt a dirt bag like me? When am I ever going to have another chance? To go sit in a VIP box yep. with food catered and chefs and the whole deal treated nice. like royalty and get to watch yep. a NASCAR race, especially the last time Dale Jr. gets in a race car, right? I mean, that's a big fucking deal. So, uh, you know, I'll do that. And then I walked up there and I walked in the booth and I sat down and I looked over the next to me and two guys snuck into the booth that weren't with us and they were just like, Loving it, dude. They're looking at yeah. each other and they're going, <laughs> can't believe we made it in. He's like, hey, because we barely made it in. Yeah, we right, didn't have enough right. passes. Yeah, they're you like, know? that's big chief right there. Right yeah, you know, and so, hey, and I went and I looked around and I looked at the track and I, and I was just like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. But I just, I left. Like, I, I and I didn't get to thing. see. And one day I might regret that. Yep. I didn't want to regret it. And plus, my son was there and he really, he was really excited about it. Yep. You know, so. Since my son was there, I stayed for half the race. And then fucking after that, my son wasn't ready to go. So I left. Yeah, I would have done the same thing. My son too. ended I, up staying and watching the whole race. He stayed that. up there in the in the box office with my dad. So, so maybe it's just us. I don't, I don't know. It's but just we don't get but it. But my dad stayed there and my son stayed there and he had like the greatest time ever, I guess. So, so I'm thinking like literally I'm thinking... I think we're, it's just us, man. It's, it's it's just a I'm different. Thinking we're doomed is what I'm thinking when I'm doomed. walking out of this NASCAR race because there's so many people there, Jeff. The energy is unbelievable. The amount of money, yes, that it takes to there. do that. Yes. Oh my <clears throat> God, it was insane, dude. Insane. So, but you don't get to see the energy that you see the energy around it, but you don't get to see the energy in it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, there's no. The only energy you see is if somebody actually does hit something. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean? Because other than that, it's just momentum. They and just once, have a, they And have once a, I saw that, I rolled out. Well, they have a. <laughs> you probably I, went, saw somebody, oh, I saw somebody hit the wall. I went, well, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> there it <Right>. is. <laughs> but you don't get to see the energy because it's momentum. They're just, they're just yep. keeping momentum yep. in a certain line of the track and trying to keep the mile per hour up the whole time. So there's no acceleration there's no nothing. deceleration there's nothing no, it it's looks just like a, they're going the same speed the whole yeah, time yeah it's yeah. just um you know i don't know it's just not uh, like with horse racing okay you can see the energy in the horse every time his hoof hits the fucking ground yeah you know what i mean you can see the snot blowing out of his fucking nose you can see all the shit they pumped in him right before he went out there pumping through his fucking veins and yeah. this motherfucker's heart's going 900 miles an hour and they don't give a shit if he makes it to the end of the track as long as he wins Yep. You see that energy, and you see the fucking jockey whipping the fuck out of him. Yep. Well, they got these guys so enclosed in there, you can't even see them turn the wheel. Nope. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't see the cars do anything but just... Burr, I couldn't do you it. Know? So yeah. to me, I got to see energy. As lame as dragsters are, if you stand fucking behind one, oh, yeah. and it's got some horsepower, you get to see it. Yep. It accelerates. It tries yep. to rotate the earth. Uh, right? Well, and just like whenever we went and did the, the dirt track stuff, 
There's even you can even see the energy yeah. in that because you're coming around the corner dirt. sideways. sideways. It's slinging yes. dirt. You're pedaling it. Yes. You're getting sideways. And you hear it. And, yeah, yeah. Mm. And 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 think about that. That's two. How many? I mean, how many horsepower was our old Cordova? The one I was the, uh, the Cordova is <laughs> about 104. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hey, we had a great time. Scared in that. to death. <laughs> Hundred. I thought you was gonna fucking kill me, and my heart rate was up, and we had a but great time in 104 energy. horsepower. There was energy, and I'm sure if you were driving one of those cars. You know, I don't know. Five hundred laps, though, I might just pull over. Yeah, I'd have I to go. Ah, I'm over it. I'd have to piss like nine hundred <laughs> yeah, fucking times. Do. I'd just be like, uh, I'd look at Jeff and go, "Yeah, I'm over it." I'm gonna like, need a diet Pepsi. I'm gonna need an Uber. It, turn <laughs> yeah, get, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Can I make a right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like dealing with all of it, man. It was just so much energy, but you don't get to see it in the race. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you're not really involved. Yep. You're just so yep. out. But the one thing that they have going for them is they have that team. You get to be a part of that guy or yep. that team. Yep. Drag racing will never, the way it is currently, you're never going to have that. Because I don't know how much it costs to drive a NASCAR. No idea. From what I've been told, it's based on talent. If you're really freaking good at it and you're really rich, you get to drive. All those guys yeah. looked like they were the same to me out right. there. But in... Drag racing, I know. Yep. It costs $4 million. You want to drive a top fuel car? No, you don't come up. Oh, what? No, no, no. To drive one. To drive a NASCAR. Right, but the driver doesn't have to bring it. No, no, no. The corporate sponsor brings it because there's so much energy. And Jesus. drag racing? And drag racing... No one finds you at your fucking local track and goes, hey, he's got a it. bad motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to put you in a fucking drag race car. No, yeah. no, no. Otherwise, Stevie Fast would rule the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No doubt. The problem is in drag racing, there's like two guys. One in it's just like the it's just yep. like the movie The Godfather. You know what I mean? You walk in and you go, Don. Don. <laughs> it's the Don. And it just Don. happens that his name is Don. And it just Don, happens yep. his name's Don. And you say, I want to drive, Don. Yeah. And, and he, he says, goes, did you bring the money? <laughs> Three million. Says, he says, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gonna, do these things. <laughs> you do these for me, and I'll get you a car. And they're like, okay, Don, what do I got to do to drive a top fuel car? And he goes, you bring me a bag with $4.3 million in it, and I'll put you in a piece of shit that I don't care about. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know? Yeah, and then we'll work because, into being competitive. And you'll get that space down there <laughs> yeah, at the other yeah, end. Yeah, and your tuner's going to have one arm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But not really. <laughs> but like, it's all about the driver has to bring it, yep. right? Yep. So then the driver is stifling himself because he just worked his ass off to find some sponsor somewhere that didn't know drag racing, that nobody watches drag racing. Yep. And they bring this sponsor in and they go, I got my $4 million, Don. And he goes, yep. okay, get old Smokey over there. That's mm -hmm. the car you got. You know what I <laughs> mean? Yeah. Smokey. And then the one that's bandages together. <laughs> Yeah, and then you get to go out there and do your thing and hope to pray to whoever that shell, you know, pray that whoever they're praying to, you got to pray to that person. You know what I mean? And, yep. like, it just... Yeah, but you can't stand out. Well, well, you could. Well, but that's the thing. You could. You could if, you're, if you were born with it. Yep. I mean, take the man, and I ain't taking nothing away from him just because he's got money. It ain't his fault he's got money. Steve Torrance. Oh, badass. Dude, dude, he stands out. He does yeah. whatever the fuck he wants. That's because he don't have no sponsors. He don't have to worry about right. nobody. So what, nobody so that should show you the driver shouldn't have to worry about his own sponsor. Yeah. Yep. Steve yep. Torrance, it should be the example of what drag racing is. Yep. And he goes out there and calls him. He says, I'm racing a gold digger. You know what yep. I mean? Yeah. He goes out there and talks shit about everybody. He doesn't care. You know what I mean? Like yep. he's not worried ass. about where that check's coming from. No, no. it's there. No, you know it's I mean? there. Yeah. yeah. And he says he, what the fuck he and wants. He signs and you his know own what? Check. And he, it, by being that way, he might just get a sponsor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he does stand Yeah, up. but he doesn't care. But he, I, I guarantee if he wanted a sponsor, he could get one. But he doesn't yeah. give a shit. He don't that's give two flying but fucks. But that's what, like, nothing right now has. Yeah. Besides, like, WWE or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Speaking of gay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I yeah. mean, like, you know. It's that just and, and that's love why hip hop Atlanta. And yeah, <laughs> people are always asking like, why, why, do, why is your show successful? Why is the ratings on your show so good? But that's why it's because 
We're all doing it with our own shit, so we don't give a fuck. And every time we go to the starting line, we got every best piece of shit part we can, and we yep. drug it to the starting line, yep. and we're going to shove it down that motherfucker's throat, and we don't give a fuck. Yep. yep. And, we'll and we'll talk we'll shit tell you about, about other it. people. And, and we'll, we'll tell you about yeah, it. Yeah, we'll tell you about fucking having to pull a rear end out of a car and put it in another car in, in between, between rounds, rounds yeah. just right. to fucking make that deal happen. I mean, did anybody have any problems at that NASCAR race? I don't fucking know. I didn't see no doors fly I, off. I mean, I didn't. I seen the one dude clip the wall, but... <laughs> Other than that, I mean, hey, and he what did he have to? For it. Yeah, I mean, what did he have to go through to make it like, to that race? It's just we don't know. It's it's a lot of there's a lot of energy around it, but I think it's just focused in the wrong spot, you know. And yeah, is. but the you tradition, like we said, the tradition has carried it this far, and so I think everybody's just going, ah, fuck it. The, the, the money and the fans are still here. There are things that will always be there because of tradition. The Kentucky Derby, okay, yes. yeah. the Kentucky Derby, yes, it's always going to be there. It is tradition. People go there because it's tradition, because it's been going on for over 100 years. That would be years. the only reason I ever even considered going there to see what the whole fuss was about. Because it's tradition. Because I'm not from there like right. you, so I don't watch that. Because I know every year since I've known you, that's your weekend. Yeah, you know I what I mean? It. You, I love you, it. There's, it doesn't matter what we got going on in our Kentucky, lives. You watch that fucking race. It's beat into you. Hey, when you're and a child. I always Kentucky go, Derby, the what Derby. the fuck? You, you know, watch it? Hear, you know, every oh, fucking I love year. The Derby. Hey, Derby. And then, really? And then fuck. I've been around his mom before one time, and them two start talking about that shit. And, and go, I'm going, I have no fucking clue what they're talking about. But you know, when you're in, when you live in Louisville, or we lived in Lexington for a little while, we That's traveled a big around. Part of it. When you live in Louisville. You know, we lived down and we lived in the Highlands. We lived, you know, the Derby's right there. Yeah. And so I, mean, I know that all that is such tradition. And that would be the only reason I ever even thought about going there. And what's yeah. crazy you know? is it, it's such a big deal. Like the whole town shut down. For yeah. This. Yep. this horse race is the biggest thing in the whole world at that point in time to everyone around there. It's crazy. And, you know, I've never even been to it. I've never even been inside the Downs. I've never even yep. been in Churchill Downs just because people like me didn't actually get to go to the race or, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you... You let people park in your front yard and, you know, you charge people for showers and, and you go to the Belvedere and you have a party and you li listen to live music and you bet on horses and you bet, yeah. you bet every dollar that you wish what you had. you got for the year. Right. So, like, it's a big deal, but it's tradition. The horses haven't gotten faster. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're going to get a little faster here and there, but it's fucking nature. It took them it's a million same. years to get yeah. to where they were. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, it's, well, unless you're a Christian and this. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm gonna. Here I'm gonna, we go. Yeah, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> sorry, mom. <laughs> sorry, just sorry. <laughs> okay, I hope yeah. not. Uh, he no. said your mom listens to this. God, I hope not. <laughs> I know my mom don't. Ain't nobody else listening to this but deal. It's a tradition, and it's talked about so much. You get to pick your horse at the beginning of the week, and you don't need to. You figure out if he's gonna, you know. What is is he, what's his lap times? Is he kicking ass? Is he not kicking ass? You know what I mean? Like who's his trainer? Yeah, was he sick last week? You know his trainer. You know, I mean, yeah, you gotta exactly. know all that okay. shit about him. That is what NASCAR is now, because yep. it's, it's just nothing left to it. There's no nobody standing out left. You know yeah. what I mean? But hopefully, the tides are changing. You know, maybe yeah. it'll be, maybe it'll be, maybe we'll get the chance to show them. You know, if anything else, <laughs> they ain't gonna give me a mic. Hey. I don't know what kind of ratings NASCAR has, but I know that that one one network that I have a little something to do with its ratings is pretty good. Yep. Man, you talk about energy. The night we were at Bristol and those people were all now, there. That's what I. Okay, so that's where I was Holy going. Yeah, the people, yeah, the people were thought, awesome. I thought we were done. I thought there's no way now anybody's going to show up to our race because our race is three days after this race. Yeah, like nobody's going to be there. I thought the same thing. There's no fucking way anybody's going to be there. None of these people are going to go through that. Yep, and it, you know it was hot. Oh, and it was God just, damn. and it was a Tuesday. Was fucking brutal, dude. When they opened the fucking gates, like when we pulled into the track, they I said was they like, had to. They opened yeah, the gates two hours early because yeah. there was seven miles of traffic out there, and it was blocking the fucking highway. So yeah. they had to open the gates. Yeah, yeah. Phantom had to get a police escort to bring our bearings, like so the, the fag bearings. The fag, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the fag bearings. The day before. uh the day before, there was a, a track rental, if you will. A bunch of the guys got together. They rented the track, <laughs> and they tested. Now, there was a lot of people mad about that. Fuck them. But you know what? They still mad about it. But you know what? Rent the track. That's it. And then guess what? When you rent the track, you get to say who shows up and who don't. I did not rent the track. I didn't pay a dime to rent the track. I no, but they said that it. we could make a hit. But they said I could make a and hit. And so I, I said, cool. They said I, yeah. I could make a hit. <laughs> I said, wanted. okay. <laughs> so... I, I mean, of course, you know me. I didn't show up till dark. 
you yeah, because yeah. I don't get out of bed for two two thirty. But yeah. uh, but they were testing out there all day. You know what I mean? And it's like, hey, if you wanted if if you wanted it, go do it. And then we got to work. We got well, yeah, okay, well. A lot Sorry of people about will quit their fucking job to go try and win this race. So, you know, what do you want? You know, how do you beat a guy like that, I guess? Yep. I don't know. Well, in testing the night before, we made one test hit and blew a tire. You know, good good God. Shit showed it. Shanked it right into the <laughs> Shanked trees. Shanked it. Changed, you know, we put another set of tires on that we had brought with us, thankfully. And then we made our last test hit like 15 minutes before they shut the track down. Like, I barely got to make one fucking test hit. And it was fast, really fast. It was bad. Yeah. But it we didn't make it back. Like, locked up the rear end, you know, bearing locked up. Yeah, so old trusty golf cart goes down there to get it. It was <laughs> blowed up too, wasn't it? Yeah. Was, uh, as, yeah. That was, as the, the, that was the second Oh, that, was the, yeah. that, was, yeah. that wasn't the first <laughs> no, time. No, when we got there. A good the, old golf the, cart. At the test day, like, nothing was going right. Like, yep. you know, you go to fire up the generator and it's like, nah. Yeah. And you go to park there. Oh, and the truck didn't want to make it. Like, That's I was right. broke down on the way there three times. Like, every possible issue you could have was going on. And, but you know what that usually means. And that's what Sean's dick, Sean, this, this dickhead. I get there and I'm just. I didn't feel like it's dickhead. I hate my life right now because nothing's going right. Everything I touch turns to shit. I've been Everything. in that part of your life with you before. <laughs> <laughs> And then, it's questionable. And I'm just like, God damn it. Why am I here? You know what I mean? Yep. And so, and Sean goes, hey, but you know what, pal? Hey, usually when you have this much trouble, you fucking win. And I'm like, <laughs> thanks. Now, if I don't win, it's going to be even worse. Like, because <laughs> now I feel like I have to, I have to live up to that now. Well, there you go. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Words of wisdom. So... <laughs> So the bearing goes out in the rear end. It locks up. Now, you know, it's not a sponsored rear end. So it's not like I'm going to withhold the name. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm not going to tell anybody whose rear end it was. Yeah, no, we paid for those parts. We paid. Yeah, it's not sponsored. It's Mark Williams rear end. It failed because of me. You know, Mark Williams. Yeah, it's uh, not Mark Williams. No, no. Travis at uh, Mark Williams. Is his name Travis? Yeah, Travis at Mark Williams told me when I bought the parts to put it together. He said, hey. Yeah, this ain't going to work. You can't do that. And what did we say? And I said, duly noted. Duly noted. Which I got, you know, that's Dave's famous line. Yep. I said, duly noted. And we put it together and we went racing with it. And he said, at the very minimum, you should change the axles and and, and the bearings like every 30, 40 hits. Because oh, my. It, you can't go as fast as we're trying to go on a flanged axle. The, yep. the bearing is at the end of the axle, the way it is in a passenger car, a normal stock passenger car. And we didn't listen because it was a lot cheaper. And, and lighter. And easier, it is lighter. And it was lighter. Because I kept saying, why don't you have a floater? Ah, fuck that. That's too heavy. Now, I built a brand new fucking car and still didn't put a floater yep. in. Yep. Yeah, it, the floaters were a little heavier and yeah, more they expensive. Are. Yeah, like 14 pounds. Damn. It was, at my, I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was more. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I, I mean, who knows? Whatever. Four, 14. Now, if you, if you say it like that, now it sounds stupid. No, yeah. <laughs> hey, you think I'm not kicking myself in the ass on them wheelie bars? What am I going to save? 10 pounds, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. So the car locks up, won't go back, won't move. That I'm just like, God damn it. Fucking mess. Like, just fuck me running. And then the track comes over, and they're like, hey, good job, man. You just made the fastest hit of the day. And I went, what? Said, yeah. I don't know how the fuck you did that. I was like, what it run? Oh, we can't tell you what it ran. And I'm like, but well, it was why the, the fastest. Fuck would you say anything? He said, then? but it was the but it was the fastest. So now, all of a sudden, there's this little glimmer of ha. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Of course, I'm so far down at the end of the track because Bristol's three miles long. Yeah, I'm yeah. So far down there in the fucking. But if you woods. got a good rear end, you could coast all the way back to the pits. But you I didn't. could at <laughs> least a timing shack. So I was yeah. walked up down there with Bigfoot and the ambulance guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. And whoever else is out there in the fucking yeah. mountains. And and I'm like. Fuck yeah. Fastest time of the fucking day. That's what's up. Just got here. And then, of course, but my car won't move. <clears throat> so we drag it back to the pits and. It's a mess. Who has a bearing? Shoo. I don't know anybody that keeps them fucking bearings. No, no one. Yeah, no one. Had, it's a double wide, old school. <laughs> fucking double wide. <laughs> double wide fast. Hey, that sounds like my childhood. When I started that, everybody in Bristol started shaking their head yes, and then I said bearing, and they went no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, has anybody got a double wide? Yes. Bearing. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> 
So I'm still thinking, though, that nobody's going to show up to this race. Like, because, you know, it's testing. Yeah, yeah and there was literally nobody there. They testing. emptied that NASCAR yes. fucking place, emptied the fuck out. They went yeah. on to wherever the ne- next NASCAR thing is. You know what I mean? They followed the NASCAR thing. Yep. I'm sure it was in a circle, but they got there eventually. They probably had to ask for directions. <laughs> I don't see how they don't get fucking nosebleeds. Uh, uh, so then Phantom is looking for a bearing. Not going to find one. You know what I mean? No. And, and you would not. think they would. There's of course, a track I start right to there. go over and ask some other guys in the pits, you know. It's like, ah, it's really hard on me, too. It hurts the pride, you know what I mean? To yeah, but everybody else say you're broke. Well, because you want to go over there and light a cigarette and go, so how'd you do? I know you're not the fastest, but how'd you do? <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> My shit flew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can't because, you know, yeah. it fell apart. Broken. Yeah. And then everybody out there is going, you don't have a fucking floater in that thing? And I'm like, damn it. Yeah. I suck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thankfully, though. You know, Phantom, he's our he's our dude. He reaches out, makes it happen, fucking gives me the old, gotcha, gotcha, don't worry about it. So then I didn't worry about it. Not at all. No. Nope. Nope. Went and back to the pool. Actually, yeah, yeah. I, he went actually, back to the fucking pool. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I went and hung out. I did, too. I went and hung out in the pool all fucking yep. day yep. thinking, hey, yep. all we got to do is put a bearing on this thing, okay. right? Yeah. <laughs> Driver's meeting was at seven six six yeah. phantom got to the track with the bearing at like at five yeah it so, had to have been past four thirty. To to like it had to have been past four thirty or something he had to drive three Damn. hours away to get that fucking bearing and hey but my man's here picks up two of them because you know how we do it <laughs> You never know. We're going to fuck one up. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, and his thought process was, we're going to fuck one up putting it on. Yeah. And Not then, like running it and then no, no, fucking no. it up. No. Putting it on. We're going to yeah. fuck one of them up trying to beat it on the rear end. Well, yes. Because we don't have a press. So then. I don't know if anybody knows that or not. But no. We don't carry presses around <laughs> in the fucking. I can't believe we don't have a goddamn press on those presses either. Oh, really? There's not enough room. There's not room enough room. For My, everything we golf cart barely heavy. fits in that motherfucker. Yeah. Hey. You know. And mine's. Just walls are just laced with shit. So yeah, well, we should have left your golf cart there, like we did that generator hey, that hey, blew up on hey, us that one time. <laughs> just fucking leave it. Parking lot just cleared out, and there's a golf cart sitting there. The fucking blowed up rear end in it. That was in Georgia. We left my generator, didn't we? Yeah. I don't think it's yours. It's my brother in law's, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. I think it was Ryan's. It was my brother in law's. We left one in Georgia, and one in Indy. We left them big blue fans everywhere, though. Yeah. Remember, I had two or three of those. We left them everywhere. <laughs> and then they dragged the generators down. You know the shitty generators yeah. that we had. So we didn't have a press or nothing, but McDougal, I don't know where he was going or why or what he was doing, okay? But McDougal shows up to Bristol with Get Some. Our our buddy gets yeah, some, who yeah. is also from the Little Axe area of Oklahoma, which, which tells you a lot. Which about yeah. for those of you that don't know, it's east of I thirty five, and anywhere east of I thirty five is a little bit different. It's got like it's kind of like being up in the mountains. They were yeah, it was a lot like where we were. It's a at. lot like where we were at. So uh, get some is his name, and he's just to give you some background on get some. Uh, he has. A tattoo across his stomach like Tupac, but it says "Get some," so that you <laughs> yeah. know when he's ready and he rips his shirt off, you're gonna get some. You're, you're gonna, gonna get, get some. You're <laughs> <gonna> get some. <laughs> <laughs> well, get some fit in like a glove. Yeah, where he's we a good were dude. Hey, he's a good dude. He showed up and and he put in work. Yeah, so he did. So McDougal shows up. So now we got. We got the monkey bros and get some. We got yep. three people from Little Axe here. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nick's Nick, from Little Axe. Is he? I think so. Nick from Little Axe? He's huh. got to be, man. They grew up together. Huh. Maybe so. Weird. He didn't make that travel from I-35 fucking... <laughs> <laughs> when, well, you know, that young. So we had Nick. We had a good group of people. We had the best crew we've had in a long time, right? Well, we didn't have a press. And I'm no. sure you've seen the video. Everybody's um, seen the video. <laughs> I seen it live. Yeah. I was, I was amazed. While they're assembling the driver's meeting, get some monkey and the other half of monkey bros. McDougal have somehow found where the fuck did they even get 35 uh, kamikaze? Plates? 
Yeah. Kamikaze guy had him in his fucking trailer. What, for deadlifts? I'm, or I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure Squats. it was the weight on the, yeah. in the Elko. <laughs> oh. I'm sure it was part of his. He couldn't make a pass until we put them bearings on. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two 35 pound, you know, bar, barbells? Dumbbells? They weren't dumbbells. They were plates. plates. They're, they're just they're 45 plates. pound plates. Yeah, 35 pound hey, plates. They fit right over hey, that axle. And it was the right exact diameter to fit over the axle. And, and use then, as a slide hammer. And used as a double slide hammer. Yes. <laughs> it was a double whammy. Yes. So then you got Monkey hold the bearing in place, get some's holding the axle, and McDougal is lifting the plates. And slamming and them slamming the them fuck down. down. And I'm trying to reassemble the rear wing. And these are little bitty Phillips head screws. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I had a rough week getting out there <laughs> and a long day in the pool of doing whatever I was doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I didn't exactly have my shit together. So I'm trying to screw the fucking wing back together. And every time I get ready to put a screw in that wing, those fucking plates hit the ground. And it, boom, and I shank it. Just fucking <laughs> screw goes everywhere. So I, And I'm just looking over the car and I'm going, we don't have a fucking chance in hell. There is zero shot that's going to Yeah, work. but I kept looking at you giving you the thumbs up like everything, everything was going to be you good. You kept looking at it and laughing and pointing and going, ooh. And then when I, <laughs> then when I would look, you would go, hey, hey, it's good. It's it good. Me, nah, it, nah, it, no worries. You the elbow like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the look. Yeah. yeah. And he goes, hey, yeah. the, the. Yeah. And then every time they fucking, every time they shank it and hit something besides the bearing, Sean goes, oh, shit. <laughs> he goes, ooh. <laughs> yeah, they go, ooh. He ooh. ain't ooh. never going to yeah. make it. And then McDougal will go, I don't worry about that. <laughs> well, so then that started a thing because I'm kind of trying. I'm over. I'm over micromanaging my crew here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, sometimes you just got to turn them guys loose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you should never. Turn. No, no. There should always be a supervisor. Yes. And Nick was the best we had. Yeah. So, <laughs> and McDougal turned and looked at me, and I said, "Hey guys," I was like, "Are you fucking serious? Like, the wheel studs are an inch and a half in the ground right now. Is that In the gonna pavement." Be a- yeah, yeah. The pavement. Yeah. yeah, I was like, "Is that gonna be okay? Like, are we gonna be able to get the fucking lug nuts on it?" And McDougal looks over at me and he goes, "You worry about yourself." <laughs> and I went, "Huh? Okay. All right, then. <laughs> okay. Hey, because right. you don't want to do it. No, no, I don't <laughs> want to do it. You're not gonna keep. I'm not gonna try doing. and figure out how to get that bearing <laughs> no. on there, or try to figure out how to get them studs on. Yeah, or try to figure out how to get McDougal off of me when he comes fucking <laughs> yeah. trying to fight me. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. Just hey, yeah. you can get yeah. this shit done then. Hey, my bad, man. Yeah, I didn't hey, see what yeah. you was doing. No, it's all good. Like you got it. <laughs> you got that deal figured <laughs> out, huh? And so I was like, all right, fuck I, it. You wonder what they're gonna do next, huh? Might take with your jig on. So then I go back to the back of the car. I finish putting my shit back together. Get the tune up ready. They're calling us up to the driver's meeting. As we're walking to the driver's meeting, you can still hear the boom, boom just ping, boom. ping. You know how it is whenever you slap plates and together. I don't know. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. We, you, you, know. CT Fletcher, you know. So I don't know if you've been to Bristol, but it's like a valley. Yep. And it's really loud. And that ringing sound <laughs> carried through all the fucking hollers in the hills. We could hear it in the driver's meeting. And, yeah. and I get up there and I look up and there's 32 fucking thousand people. There. It was like a dinner bell for them guys. <laughs> Cause they was all over in our pits. <laughs> and I was just going, Oh my God. Like I walked out there and was like, Oh my God. Yeah. Like where did all these fucking people come from? That was real dude. They showed up two days after a NASCAR race. You know what I mean? Like, mm. That was rough. It was, yeah. and I'm sure that it was rough for them to wait till the end of the month to get that other check, you know, because they spent it all right there, like, <laughs> you know. But dude, I couldn't believe it. And the fans, they were. I love the South because they're not assholes, not at all. Yeah. You know, what not I mean? at all. Like man. they go, this one guy had no shirt on, of course. Yeah, tattoos all over him. He's fucking drunker than a motherfucker. That just narrowed man, it he all goes, the way down, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. he, goes, <laughs> he goes, hey, chief. Are you going to fucking come out here and sign some shit or not? And I went, hey, motherfucker, I'm trying to get my shit ready. There's 60 fucking grand on the line. I got two seconds to get up there. They're going to fucking disqualify me. He goes, all right, man, I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he goes, hey, but, but if you're going to do it later, let me know. I'll be over here. <laughs> hey, man, some people, you know, he said, are just yeah. fucking assholes. Other yep. people, I was like, look, guys. You guys want me over here signing autographs? Or do you want me trying to get my car ready so that I can fucking maybe win something? Hey, how about you when know? we were filming and, the scene? And they were and cool. The you fucking know? people were yelling at you. We were filming. You're going to like, come on, man. We're fucking filming. Yeah. yeah. They're yeah. yelling in the background. Hey, but, yeah. But, but, were, but most of the time, people in the South will be like, 
Fuck no. We'd rather you get your car fucking hey, go going. Go get that money. Hey, go there's a lot money, of fucking you know? people who'd be like, no, fuck you, man. Hey, yeah. we came all the way out here to see you, you yeah. know? Yep. And I don't understand people that's like that. Man, but they're, they're so nice. and But they come off a little edgy, you know, just because that's where they're from. But then... Then hey, the cool as fuck. Cool as yep. a fan. He goes, he yep. goes, hey, my bad, baby. I was just asking. Go do your thing. Go get your money. <laughs> yep. He goes, I'll yep. be over here. He goes, I'll wait all night if I have to, brother. I don't care. And well, I was he like, probably hurt everybody else and you ignoring them. So he said it, you know, with his chest a little bit. And then once you got his attention, <laughs> then he was like, oh, come on. Oh, come <laughs> on, baby. I so got you, baby. It was, they were just so nice. And then one dude was being a dick and the whole rest of the crowd just attacked him for it. You know yep. what I mean? They're like, leave him the fuck alone. Don't you see he's working? So, <laughs> long story short, the Monkey Bros got the bearing put back in. Mm-hmm. We go to the starting line. I drew Doc. That's right. Uh, who has never beat me. And I'm thinking to myself, great. Yeah. Who fucking knows if this bearing is going to hold on to the finish line? And Doc could beat me in front of 32,000 people. Yeah. Yeah. But he didn't. But then... The, there was a fucking rule in the driver's meeting. I've never been a part of a driver's meeting where there was this rule. It was so weird. Yeah. We're in the driver's meeting, and they say, in this fucking driver's meeting, Boosted GT says, if any part of your car flies <laughs> off into the other lane. In front of in him. Front, you know, if it crosses the center line before the finish line, you lose. And I went, yeah. who the fuck wrote that? Like, <laughs> when would, Why like, would that why? fucking yeah. happen? Anyway, why is... Obviously, at some point, this has happened, or it wouldn't be a rule. And you're Nobody thinking, just who the thinks fuck of, and let's just say if something comes off their car, yeah. or they're fucking hey, out. And Kai Kelly's standing next to me, and he goes, yeah, that's because that's of me. That shit happened to me one time. And, I, was like, <laughs> and I'm, I look back, I'm like, fuck, I ain't, I ain't that stupid. That shit ain't going to happen to me, <laughs> fucking dumbass. Hey, well, then, sure enough, right? I mean, did I don't know if I didn't know if I was at the finish line or before or after. All I know is I was kicking Doc's ass, I was pumped up, and all of a sudden, we lost cabin pressure. Yep. And that fucking passenger door came off. <laughs> yeah, it did. And it was like a movie. It was like one of those scary movies where the fucking half the 747 comes where everything off. starts getting sucked out. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm like thinking, shit, let's put this seat in. I'm going out. You know? <laughs> 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 everything in the car is getting fucking sucked out the window. And I'm just like, and I'm looking and I'm going, but uh, was it? Yeah, before but, or after. Because it showed hey. a fuck went over into his lane. But I didn't know that because I'm in the car. Oh, it goddamn sure did. It came, hey, it came off the fucking wall. Because it was your, you were, you were, it was your passenger right door and you were in the right lane. Right. So it skeets off the fucking wall. Couldn't tell by looking at the door. It's it's in good shape. <laughs> it's still in really good <laughs> Looks shape. Looks great. <laughs> Comes off the fucking wall and skeets over in his lane. And, oh. and he still almost ran over it. Like... <laughs> Dude, all I could think of in the car is I was like, there's no fucking way that this just happened to me. <laughs> like, there's no way we just got the car back together. The wheel bearings are fixed. You know, and of course, Boosted, yeah, you know, fixed. Boosted's running this event. So he wants, he's going to fuck with you. Yeah. You know, oh, you're going to make a good pass last night? Well, you will see what you do with this one. So then <laughs> it, over the night, obviously, he had a bunch of fucking elves out there washing the track hey, with Ajax or something. they had fucking washed it down with soap and water talk and talk about no prep. Boosted was going to do everything he could to make that a no prep. Oh, they almost soaked it done. And yeah, so, because I mean, the night man. before that track was kill, yeah. and he scraped it three or four times trying to get he rid of tried, it. He tried, but it just kept it helping. Just kept, it. Yeah, it just got better. So then, <laughs> do a burnout. Up, when I went up for first round, like I'm thinking, oh my god, that track is bare as fuck. My tune up from last night, who fucking knows? Hey, and then I'm like, I just need a good draw. I need a good draw, and I drew number sixteen. Yeah, perfect. Jackie Knox. Woo. Moving on, right? Then they go, ah, oh, we got to redraw. Yeah, I had Dominator yep. first round. You had Dominator? I had uh, that red Mustang from Noah. Davis? Yep. How did he do? He, I think he lost. The little tire car? I think he had. I think it was a small tire car. Yeah, oh, he went out first round. So all yeah. three of us had the perfect yeah, draw. It was, no, I was the moons were stumped, aligned. Man. I was fucking I, stoked. I, I was like, oh, my car wasn't even together. While we're doing the driving, you can hear, bing, bing, yeah. bing, bing. <laughs> You know, and I just kept on thinking to myself, if I get this first fucking round out of the way, that's all. Just please let me get this first fucking round out of the way. That's you exactly what I was, I was thinking, thinking was let me get a, a late round draw. Let me get 15 or 14 or 13. I got 16. I got the last one. It was the fucking perfect way. It couldn't yep. have gone any better. And I was like, oh, thank God. We might just have a chance. And they go, yeah, we got to redraw. Then I get five. Yep. And I'm like, fuck, I don't even know if I'm going to make it and up here. I had here. four or something. Yeah. I, wasn't, I was yeah, the, the race right in front of you right or some shit. I was like, 
God damn it. And you get Kai Kelly yeah, in the redraw. Yeah, draw fucking Kai Kelly. Who you do draw in the redraw? Megalodon. Megalodon. Fucking right. Yeah, nice. I mean, fucking who else? Dog, who else? Kai Kelly and Megalodon. Yeah, yeah. we had Jackie, Dominic, and Dave Man. <laughs> it just, and I was thinking, all right, the universe is not going to let me win They're this fucking one. us. For whatever reason, they don't want me to win this one. Well, I still thought I was going to win. I me mean, too. Because I, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I know my shit's faster than his. Yeah, but there's I, no doubt about it. We I just know hadn't my shit's fast. lined it out, fucking. But yeah, racing fifth. I didn't think I was gonna be up there in time. Yeah, no. We yeah. still yeah. hadn't put wheels on my shit. Yeah, no, you know I, know. What I, mean? I know. Like, uh, you know, like damn. Yeah, but that bitch was going to the line. And you know, Doc's car is fast. You know, I mean, it, yeah, it no, you can't fuck it up ain't against Doc. Fast as my car, but it's fast. Been thirties or some shit. You know, it goes one hundred two, one hundred three sixty. But it's a, it's a bad motherfucker. There's you know? no doubt about it, man. And that's what I'm saying is you can't he, fuck up against him. He's been winning some no preps. He's been fucking yeah. doing his thing. Yep. On a no, I don't go to no preps. That's not my thing. I don't do no preps. Yep. Shit. So anyway. Shit. So anyways, after that, what happened? We, we, <laughs> how'd that rear end feel on that? All I know is, I mean, I, I try, I, I, I attempt to hold your car while you're burning out. I don't know if you know this or not, but <laughs> the whole fucking car is just jumping everywhere Shaking. Yeah. in the burnout. Yeah. So I just I'm thinking, no, nah, everything's fine. Sean goes, <laughs> yeah. Sean gives everybody the. <laughs> I it, gave everybody the right. holy yeah. shit. Look, look. The fuck I'm out. in the car and I'm going, man. Hey, and I something's shaking. Yeah, Jackie says, yeah, that tire back there is all wobbling and stuff. And I thought, what the fuck did you tell him that for? You know me, I'm the guy who says, no, nah, we'll tell yeah. him at the other end. But hey, you know make, me, I, you know me, I'll beat her ass if she says it later. Yeah, if I hit the wall and she goes, yeah, no, that tire was shaking. Not me. Hey, I, that's a chance I'll take. But you're going you know? for it anyway. Yeah, hey, said, but that goes, motherfucker, goes, that tire's shaking over there. But uh, Sean thinks it's cool. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, then it's probably cool. I was like, shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wasn't not gonna race, were you? No. Okay. Get me to the goddamn okay. Line. So I figure there's the no guy, sense in the, saying if anything. If the tire's going flat, hurry. Exactly. Yeah, you know I mean? Get me, me to the fucking, me to the fucking beams. That's Lose, me. Hey, you're leaking Lower the other shit, one. Get, get me in the fucking line. Yeah, there's not much know? left. Get me in yep, the beams. Yep. That's the way I am. You don't out. fucking tell me. And I can watch your face and tell if there's something wrong or not. Yeah. But all I know is holding that car and running with that. I thought the fucking wheel was going to come off. And it was going to take my legs off. And I was going <laughs> to, you know. <laughs> As I'm fucking running with your fucking car, I thought for sure this wheel is going to fucking come off, chop my goddamn legs off, and I'm done. You then, know? You're gonna, then you're going to be a wheelchair. Yeah, then, then the whole, you remember the Sucking first part of this, what we were talking <laughs> yeah. about, then, then that's going to be me, you know? Well, so after the door flies off and we lose cabin pressure, oh. I, I pull the chutes, you know, and I didn't need them because the rear end locked up. Yeah. And so I just stopped. And you lost cabin pressure. I mean, I I'm sure cab- it was slowing yeah. down. But at Bristol, the shutdown's uphill. Yes. Fucking right. Yes. So, hey. I didn't touch the brakes, but I stopped like, and then I didn't roll backwards. Like it just stopped. And I was like, I was happy that I won. Right. And then here comes McDougal on the golf cart with my door, like a goddamn shield, like the guy from 300 with a yeah. shield, you know yeah. what I mean? And they look like Captain yeah. America hey. out there fucking with that. Yep. And he's like, arm. he's like, he's like, we got this baby. And I was like, no, 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 it won't move. It's locked up. And he goes, who cares? We'll, we got another bearing. We'll put another bearing in it. And I'm like, we just don't have enough. There's more rounds. There's just, we're fucked. Um, at this I mean? point, when you chew up two bearings, there's something hey, else that's fucked up. But you know, up. McDougal, McDougal's like, oh, No, he would have put it we in. We got this. He's like, he's thinking to himself, he's thinking to himself, you made the lick, baby. That thing was quick. Turn it up. We got this. You yep. know? And I'm like, we don't have enough parts, you know? Well, but you know what else he's thinking too, is now you got two fucked up bearings. He can make one good one out of those two <laughs> fucked yeah. up ones. Yep. He said, you know what I mean? Even okay. scratch the fact that we had still one brand new in the fucking box. We're going to save that baby till the final round. He'll make those other two fucking work. <laughs> so he's like, I was like, dude, there's just, there's bearing all over the track. And he's like, fuck. And I was like, there was a bunch in the parachute. He's like, where? Man, give me that. Give me those. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, it was stuck in the parachute. I was like, yeah, because it's coming out of the rear end going in the parachute. So he, I don't know. He's going to fix it somehow. He's I don't saving fucking know. Him. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. He needed them. Up. So then I was like, yeah, we're not going to be able to get it back. And if we drive it back, we're going to fuck up something worse. Mm-hmm. So he said, okay, I'll go get the trailer. <laughs> Takes off of my golf cart. Now, I don't know if y'all know this. My golf cart got a big block in it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> it's fast. It is fast. But at a certain RPM, it doesn't like it. Well, you can't. You just can't hang that baby wide open. It's like well, a Harley. He, yeah, he, it's like a two-stroke. You got to let off that bitch every once in a while. Not that. Not, not McDougal. No. 
No, he does or not. Jackie. He just does, just for the record, they Jackie doesn't let, let off. They don't let off. <laughs> she scares the fuck out of me in that thing. <laughs> we'll talk about. We can talk about that later, though. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> I told her, "Look, Push. Jackie, I got. I got to be honest with you. You're scaring the fuck out of me." <laughs> so then after that, I had to drive. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, I don't. I don't know her all that well. So you know me. I don't really ride. I don't really ride with people. I take my own. Oh, I'll meet you there. I'm yeah. the meet you there type of guy. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I ain't riding with you. <laughs> hey, well, but if I'm with Jackie and she's driving, I'm the motherfucker who's like, commit. Get do it. it. Get do it. it the way you do it and commit to it because I don't want you letting off. You know what I mean? Like, just do this shit. You know, great. Hey, she, you know, she'd been driving race cars. And I shit. thought that bitch was going to blow up the whole fucking way. <laughs> well, it so, did. With well, this was Google. after this was after it had blown up on McDougal, yeah. and you even said you can't just wide open that thing the whole time. And she's just foot to the floor, <laughs> and I'm going, some shit's gonna come through the fucking floorboard, yeah. and it's gonna take my legs out. And you know how that story ends, yeah. <laughs> you know? Oh so, my fucking god! So, I mean, oh, I just I see god. this shit happening. So, so McDougal is halfway <laughs> back to our pit, which is three miles away in Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's halfway back to our pit, and the fucking clutch on the side of the golf cart comes apart in about 70 pieces, goes through the golf cart's body, hits him in the leg, <laughs> tears everything up. Yep. And about that time, here comes Sean's golf cart. And I'm thinking, the fucking, we need a truck and a trailer, a helicopter, something. Yeah. Don't, don't bring me. And, and it's Monkey and Jackie, because McDougal left them on the starting line. <laughs> Like, we had to hurry up and get out there and get that door. Yeah. yeah. He's seen the photo opportunity of grabbing the door and he took that shit. Yeah. McDougal, yep. McDougal, all he's thinking is get that car to the next round. Fucking right. It. We got, we got to hurry up. Round. Dude, yeah. he didn't even care. Nobody was dude. with him. You'd think he'd look over and go, so monkey, uh, and realize no. monkey wasn't with no, him. He, he didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he didn't give a fuck. He rolled out. He said, we got to get that door so my, before somebody sees it, figures out it went in Doc's lane. Yep. <laughs> so then monkey's mad. Oh, yeah. He was the mad. Yeah, was he? Yeah. Oh, well, I missed that. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah then, because then he had to come get my golf cart. Because then we don't know where McDougal's at. And you like know he's monkey. just fucking gone. Oh, he's so then after the five ten the minutes, the car's not back. And you McDougal's know monkey, not back. And monkey's sitting over there waiting. And monkey doesn't get the deal on anybody. Monkey's over there. not the waiting type of guy. No, he's monkey. supposed to be in the golf cart. Oh shit! Getting monkey the car to, back. Monkey needs to know where the car is so he can fix the car for yes. the next round. Because you yes. only got like thirty minutes between. If that had been me, I'd have lost my day. In monkey's mind, all he's really got to do now is put the door back on. But he's got to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yep. he's over there waiting. Finally, he says, I'm taking your golf cart. Actually, I don't even think he said he's taking my golf cart. He just he fucking just rolled out, yeah. you know? And they uh, come pulling up, and, and I was like, I was like, we're fucked. And, and Monkey's like, where's the door? And I was like, uh, I don't know. Where did you not, did Justin not, McDougal, did he not get that, get back there? He goes, no, no, no. We just saw the golf cart sitting in the fucking pits down there, and he's gone. I was like, Okay, he went to get a truck and trailer. And Monkey's like, why? I said, Rearing's locked up. And he goes, fuck. And we just stood there. Hey, And when and, Monkey does that? Yeah, and Monkey just stood there, and he was just like, dude, we can't do that again. Like, we do that again, it won't make it another hit. You know, and he's yeah. like, we're going to, it's just going to keep getting worse. Yep. And so then Monkey's standing there, hey, and he's, somehow he got this giant beard between Armageddon and Just Bristol. fucking through, through one week. Literally. Yep. One like, week. And he's standing there, he's scratching in that big old beard of his, and he goes, hey, and he starts yelling at Nick or somebody, and he goes, go tell Sean, start pulling the rear end out of his car. And I was like, fuck. Hey, we get back to the pits, and Sean even said, look, man, I'm out. I got beat. He's like, let's pull the fucking rear end out of my car. No, because Chief said, hang on. We're not going to pull that fucking no, rear end out said. yet. I said, and I go, motherfucker, we're either going to do it this round or we're going to do it next round. Yep. I said, One way or another, that rear end is coming out of my car I and said, going I in yours. I'm not pulling rear end out of Sean's car. We got a bearing. Let's just fix it. So McDougal starts fixing it. And I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at Sean's dad, looking at my dad, and I'm trying to figure out what it's going to take to win this race. And Sean's like, you're going to win. And he's like, but you can't win if later in the night there's less cars, there's less chances for things to go wrong. Yep. Now's the time. time. It now was the time. the time. Now is the only you you only have right now. And then there was an oil down, and it was like we got to do it. Hey, yep. and so because they were still running cars from the first round. Yeah, you and know we like, were so early in the first round that we you know hey, if like, you're gonna do it, now's the time. I was like, Sean, I don't want to pull the rear end out of your fucking car. I was like, like that's a big deal. You it is I mean? a big and deal. Got to reset but, everything back up. And Sean goes. It ain't going straight, so fuck it. We gotta do it. Yeah, it anyway. ain't going fucking straight, anyways. Hey, and there's a reason that we try to 
use the same type of parts. Yep. You know, hey, I'm out on the whole motor deal. But other than that, we try to use the same fucking parts so yep. that so that we can do things like this, so that we yeah. can have one spare between both of us. Well, we, of course, we don't have a fucking spare rear end, <laughs> yeah. you know. But they're close enough that we can fucking put mine in his. And they yep. and they did. We it. goddamn sure got it done, dude. dude it was un- right. fucking believable. I had no clue that that was going to go down that way. And then like, it was just magic. Everything was fucking magical. It was just it was one of those moments where everything we did turned just to worked. shit. But that shit was fast. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> my God. But, but there was all kinds of, and, and, and everybody's sitting here going, oh, yeah, I mean, y'all just put the fucking rear end in it. There was so much more to that. There was so much more to that that I wasn't even thinking about. Like the fact that you have dual calipers on the back yeah, of your I car. Run, yeah. You stage your car a certain fucking way. Now you have to use my brakes. You have to right. rely on my brakes. Right. Okay. Without then, making a pass. I don't then, get to make a yeah, test hit. Yeah, no test. You don't even know. get to spool it in the pits. You don't even know if my shit is going to fucking hold your car right. on the three-step. And All I know is widths, I told you it's going to fucking hold. The widths are different on the rear end, They're too, just a little bit different. Because Monkey had to... I saw a Monkey using some... Shims? Crea- Let's, crea- we could call them shims. Some creative, um, creative ways of stretching my wheelie bars to fish on Yeah, the yeah they had to fit a little bit. Yeah, they, yeah and they, then we shimmed, you know, a little yeah. bit on the top. And I'm but, thinking, oh my God. But like, that's not it either, is his wheels wouldn't fit on my rear end. We had to pull the centers out. He's got five on five bolt pattern. Mine's five on four and three quarter. <laughs> yeah, so you got to so, get some. So you got to get some over there fucking get pulling some. the centers Who out. Has never been with us anywhere. Never, yep. never worked on a fucking, in, I don't know. I don't know the man uh, that well. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that he's never worked on this caliber of a car. That caliber of door car at that big of a race for six For that much money. With that, no. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going. And maybe he has. Maybe but he I'll bet day. that he worked just as hard at one o'clock in the morning getting his car ready to go and race <laughs> by himself <laughs> is what he did. There's no doubt about it. His work ethic, I feel like, is the same <laughs> His all the work time. Ethic was put into him from an early age. Yep. <laughs> I feel like he's got that same work ethic, no matter what car he's working on, or what time it is, or what radio he's taking apart, or. What. So, I look over at one point, and man, I'm telling you, it was it was rough because I look over and Sean's underneath his car looking for all the things that like they beat off of his car to get his rear end out. And then like get some changing the centers and the wheels. Yep. McDougal McDougal was was helping with the door at the time. Ronnie Pace had brought over a welder to weld the door brackets back on. Mm -hmm. Jeff Lutz had took the door, okay and I never saw it again. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, Until he yeah, 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 well, some shit on there. But I mean, <laughs> like usually I get to see Jeff work. And usually I'm going, that's never going to, holy shit, he's done. No, yeah, they, like, yeah. You know I mean? Like usually it's, it's that, there's no way that's going to, he's done, holy fuck. Yep. No, he just took it and left. And yeah. so I was like. Well, I, I seen what, Monkey walking around. I'm like, Monkey, do that fucking deal there. Don't yes. worry about this store because you know Where how Monkey you get is. The fucking material. Up in the top of my trailer. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. I mean, because we may or like may not have cut the fucking skin. floor out of it. Because you like yeah. made a skin it was so for weird that to, to bolt on. Because I, it was just that group. You know what I mean? It's yep. always that group. It's yeah. always that group, that certain group of people doing whatever We had a certain it is. thing we had to do and we got it done. And dude, and I'm standing there and I'm watching all this go together and I'm thinking to myself, you know, if I don't do my fucking job, and yeah. get this goddamn tune-up yeah, in knew. this car we and knew. drive and hit the tree and do everything I got to do, this is going to be real fucking unfortunate. And then I thought, I'm, it doesn't matter because this thing's going to go hard right into the wall. Like, there's nothing under that <laughs> or car. Or don't hold at all. There's nothing under that car that's going to be straight, you know? And as I'm standing there looking at all of it going down and I'm thinking, are we going to make it? Like, I'm putting spark, spark plugs in the car and Nick's helping me. And... <laughs> And it's just dead silent. Like Nick looks up at me and he goes, as I'm looking around at everybody, he knew what moment I was in. Nick looks up at me and goes, but what if we do though? <laughs> and I was like, I was like fucking right, Nick. All I but know is I had like what do? eight to 10 passes on that car at that point, And the car had never fucking went straight. And we <laughs> throw what... it in your fucking car and make one of the fastest passes I've ever seen. That's what I said. I said, McDougal. I was like, What's the chance of this fucking thing going straight, bro? I said, we're taking a rear end out of a car that can't go straight. We're putting it in a rear end of a car that does go straight. Like, yep. there's no chance it's going to But you know in. the one thing that and we make... said that we would, wouldn't, we would make work no matter what? What? Your wheelie bars. 
Yeah, we did. Yep, I Absolute. did say because oh, I and no, I did, no, no. You I even said because I ain't using I those will pieces not of shit. Those fucking wheels. Hey, bars. and turns out that's exactly that's what's exactly. been wrong with my car yep. from day one. Yep. Yeah. No, you know when you let weird. the button go hey, against when, Kai. When I, Dougal, I said, "Is there any fucking chance in hell this thing going straight?" He goes, "You worry about yourself." <laughs> yep. And then get some looked up at me like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what he said. All right, then. All right, then. I'm gonna go in the trailer. Worry about myself, dude. Then I go in the trailer. Jackie's got the computer up, and she goes, "We got problems." And I'm like, "What?" And she goes, "Panvax through the fucking roof. This thing's pissed." And I was like, "Oh no! Like, don't tell me that." That's when you showed me the head gasket. Yeah. yeah. So that's then- all you need. We 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 can <laughs> fix anything on that car except fucking motor problems. So then it's like, you got to be shitting me. Like, how is this possible? And I go over and look, and sure, in front, in the front of the head, and the back of the head, there's fucking copper spray everywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> "Holy fuck!" Like, we just there's no chance. We have no fucking chance at this. So I'm like, just, I'm like, Jackie, look back through the data logs. Tell me when it happened. You know what I mean? She goes back through. She finds when it happened. She says, okay, it happened on this run. I said, how much boost and how much timing? She tells me, I said, what was the air fuel? She tells me, I said, okay, that's where we lifted the head right there. I said, now we don't have time to pull the head off. So <laughs> like, Shit. what are we going to do? Right? We get the torque wrench out. We click Great it on torque. down another 10 or 15. Yep. And we Which is put, already a we, lot. We take the, the timing numbers and shit that we knew was pissing it off with the pan back. And because all I'm trying to do is make the car go fast. I'm not looking at the fucking motor tune up. I look at the plugs. Ain't none of them hurt. Well, good. Well, we were on the earth. We were on the vet on the edge. You know what I mean? On yeah. the verge. So she's plugging in timing numbers and fucking. I'm just I'm looking around. I'm going, you know me, dude. Like, I'm a freak. I don't like it when everybody's doing that shit. So when I look around, Jackie's in the computer. Jeff's got the door, God knows where. Sean, get some McDougal monkey. Nick's putting plugs in it. Like, I was just like ready to run away. My anxiety was through the fucking roof. Yep. I got something you could take for that. <laughs> <Anxiety>. <laughs> no, but really, he does. Make, I got something that I took to make it. You know? <laughs> 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 so, after all that shit, and we go up there and fucking. I'm not real sure if I've ever been as happy at the starting line, you know, in, in a car that I'm not racing. Yeah. And as they're saying as that, because dude, it was just the fucking great as monkeys fuck, setting man. the fucking four link in the staging lanes. We had to pull it under the tower. Sideways, remember? Well, we had to pull it sideways because they weren't, they were at a, on a hill like everything else out there. Well, we looked and we, yeah. we kind of eyeballed it. So and we, we pulled was, it in eh. sideways and everybody in the staging lane looking at us like, what you, the fuck? You dumb some bitches ain't got a shot in hell. Hey, and. I looked at Monkey and I was like, is this thing going to go straight? And he goes, you worry about yourself. I was like, okay, that's the thing of the day. Yeah, that's what we kept myself. saying. So I get in the car. He's setting the shit up and fucking the goddamn announcer, which I love him. It's woo. You know, we've known him forever. I mean, he's, he's fucking, it is what it is. He's calling it like he sees it. We blew the rear end up. Kai yep. Kelly, Chuck, Fireball, the fucking... Uh, the, probe. the probe, all those guys are hauling ass. And so yep. he says, who you guys got to win it? Who's going to take home the 60 grand? Kai Kelly, Fireball Camaro, Chuck Seisinger, or the probe. And I went. Yeah. He fucking counted us out already. I, I was just like. Well, me f- and you was already out. Yeah, well, we're first like, round yeah. losers. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, n- not, not even, even a mention? Gonna, you're not going to mention me? You're not even going to say, can Big Jeep get it together? You're nothing? You're not going to give me shit? Hey, man, my fucking core temperature went through the roof and i was like oh yeah we finna show him here and then dude laid down one of the faster passes it was unbelievable uh, it went straight i have no idea how hey right. then it Wheel coasted bars. it coasted all the way went up the hill and all the way back almost to the fucking pits it coasted yep. dude. it was and i was like okay that rear end's been fucked up for a long time so then we were like cool we're fucking golden and then drew kai kelly who had been making fast passes yeah, yeah. and i was like Man, I knew you was going to be all right on that. Dude. Yep. I asked everybody I could to. I mean, I'll, I'll admit it right here on fucking podcast. I did everything I could to find out what I ran in the past before. Yep. All I wanted to know is because I didn't have a drive shaft data because it was off Sean's rear end. We have two <laughs> different drive shaft sensors. So all I want to know is, was it fast? Just tell me, was it something I can fuck with Kai Kelly or no? Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I knew you would, man. He only beat me by a car. And I was like, yeah, but he gets faster too. You know what I mean? I was like, dude. So I'm asking boosted. He's like, can't tell you, bro. I'm asking the tower. I can't tell you. I'm asking producers. I'm like, somebody, if if I got a shot, I need to know how fast it was. And then, of course, Jackie's like, I'm telling you, this is what it ran. Looking at the data, this is what it ran. And so I'm like, all right, 
you bet your life on it. And she's like, yeah, I bet my life on it. And I was like, okay, then this is what we can run on that track. I if it ran that with those too. shift points is what we can run on this track. So we turned it up, went out there, and all I railed him. But all I heard about is he going to tree you. He going to tree you. Just get ready. He going to tree you. He going to tree you. He's going to 60 foot you. He's going to 60 foot you. Hey. He didn't even 60 foot me. He well, he did that. He did that time because <laughs> because the fucking tree shit. He well, you didn't guess him. Yeah, but well, dude, that hey, you didn't, didn't make it to the sixty foot in a straight line. No, he didn't tree me. He didn't sixty foot me. I mean, it was a drag race. No, he I'm drove so out of his life. Glad finally he made a hit next to me. Whether it was his best hit or his worst hit, he made a hit and the flames were lit. You know, yep. I mean? and we were rolling down. When you there. let the button go, I knew we was winning that whole deal. Yep, because that car from Kai Kelly on was. Fucking yeah. roll. And everybody kept talking about the bumps, the bumps, the bumps, Fuck. the bumps, the yeah, bumps. Yeah, what bumps? Yeah, shit. Your I back tires were the only ones looking at it. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, well, and that bitch was eating it up, too. Oh, man. Oh, it, was so, it was so awesome. It was great. And then at that point, I had already told everybody, we already won. Hey, yeah. even if we don't win the money, we already won. But then we drew Shane, got the left lane. Everybody said, oh, you're fucked. The bumps are real bad in the left lane. That fucking car zigzagged right around him. I don't know what happened. You yep. know what I mean? Then Shane crashed. That sucked. That kind of shook me up. Yep. But, yeah. you know. Then going against the probe, which I got Ryan Martin coming over to me, and he's going, look, we just raced the probe last round. He drove the fuck away from us. Yep. He's like, we made the fastest pass we've made here today or whatever, and and he just literally just drove away from me. And he's like, that car is fucking fast. And I was like, it better be. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> my shit is It's going to need know? to be. So, and But, I mean, I was worried about it. I don't it know how fast it is, but I know how fast it's going to have to be to outrun me. That's what I, That's all I kept saying because we yep. had a plan and we stuck yep. to it. And everybody telling it. And, and I'm thankful for everybody trying to give me advice. I'm thankful for everybody that wanted to come over and help me win. Yeah, but we don't listen to that shit. But nope. at the same time, like, how, how fast can the motherfucker be? You know what I mean? So, I got to run my shit. And I knew how fast I thought I could go on that racetrack with what I had. So, that's what I stuck with. And, God damn, it was moving. Yeah, Plenty it was enough. unreal. Yep. And then we won the whole motherfucker. And like we, I said, we did it from the first first day we got there. Yeah, you know you did, you did, and we we tore up everything. Hey, well, I mean every hey, fucking hey, thing. hey we tore crew, up everything anyways. The crew may as well mad. win. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shit. The crew was mad at each other. Everybody, dude, it was just it was brutal, brutal. Yeah. I ended up missing the you know of course I, I was supposed to see my kids on Sunday. Didn't get to see my kids because I was still trying to get home because the truck's fucking broke everything else like it was just everything everything you can think of went wrong except we won yep and that's what like telling the guys and telling people that don't understand you tell them it's like hey look if i don't when i when i pulled out of my house last fucking week <laughs> if you'd have told me right then and there and this was from, this is from sean sean used to tell me this. we i'd tear his shit up learning because that's how i learned the tune was tearing up sean's shit yeah He's the only motherfucker that would let me touch it. Everybody else is like, <laughs> fuck no. So Sean's like, yeah, you can try that. Nobody else would let me flip the jets around. You know what I mean? Like Sean's like, try it. Fucking A. Yeah. I, I was always, I always wanted to go faster. Like, yeah. yep. Even at the point, no, my car was faster him, than fucking anybody else's. But I would tell him, hey, nobody's ever done this before. And I'd go fucking right. And he'd be like, cool, let's you try know? it. Yeah. And when we, when I'd fuck it up, He'd say, hey, man, it, we, we got to try something. But when we'd win and I'd fuck everything up, he'd say, when we left the house this morning, if you'd have told me that we were going to burn up the motor, hit the wall, lose two tires on the trailer, run out of gas, <laughs> and get a... I was like, fucking right. Like, yeah. that. hey, that's that showed... Fell so hard for racing, I think. Yeah. It's to, to prove to everybody that you're not going to work as hard as me. You that, know, and I feel I like I've too. slacked, a f you know, a, a little bit recently. Well, you, but you won a lot. But when I first got into this deal, man, wasn't nobody working as hard as me to yeah. try to be fast, to what? try to learn. I learned a lot quick. Yep. I still got but a you, lot to learn. The only reason but when I first came up to Oklahoma City, man, I didn't know nothing no. about fucking racing. But the only reason you slacked is because you had it in the back of your head that you had a new car. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, that, I did. What's I did. the point? Just like when you're going to, you know, just when your lease is up. What's the point of keeping this piece of shit clean when I got a new one next week? 
Yep. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. That's the way he got. And he's not and, like that but, anymore. But he that works on shit, that fucking car now and more than anybody. But that shit kept on. <laughs> that's because that's my new hotness. And that's the thing that I've. I've well, because it doesn't have a choice. No, no. Your old one, if it lost, it was, yeah, but that's why I'm building a new one. The yep. new one, if it loses, it's, oh shit, it took two years to build that piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. And I can't for forever say, well, it's still new. Right. You know what I mean? Because so, here next week, that motherfucker's going to start winning some races. But I will say at the end of Bristol, when all the lights went out, because I told all the fans that I would stay till the very last. Yes, you did. Home. Yep. I told them. I said, I know I had to work on the car, and I know I've been busy. But yep. when this deal's over, no matter what round I go out, wait, I'm mouthing here. I said, no matter what round I go out, no matter when it's over, I will stay until the very last fan leaves. I promise. Yep. Yep. And I did. You did. But everybody else left too. And so when all that happened and the lights were off and my truck was broke down and my car was broke down and they brought me that fucking big check and I didn't get any money, I was just like, uh, how the fuck am I going to get home? Because, like, literally, we broke everything. Yep. We broke everything of everything from the front door, front bumper of the dually to the back door of the fucking trailer. We broke it all. But it was, dude. But it was worth it. That 14-hour ride home was just. You had a smile on your face. It, yep. it didn't matter. So you know did I. Mean? Yep. I mean, I did too. Even though I shit showed, and even though I I saw, wait till both of our cars are running the way that yours is right now. Oh yeah, but uh, aside from drawing each other, we're gonna fuck some people up. Yeah, yep. and, and hopefully we don't steal each other's parts because we'll then, be winning. Then Jeff is gonna be like in a horseshoe like this with his new car. Because goddamn, I can promise I don't you right race now, that thing either. Jeff's new car is oh my god, retarded. It's uh. It's we hit to talk about how it runs or looks. Weird. Here we are. Because it's weird. Isn't that weird? Here we are. Things, oh, like weird. I always say this weird shit about this fucking universe, okay? Yep. Like that weekend, the total eclipse and all that fucking shit. And somehow, yeah, it was of my heart. Yeah, and somehow we were right in the middle of it. You know yep. what I mean? Like we left Oklahoma to go right in the path of totality. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. Like all that shit was a little weird. And then here we are sitting here in this fucking room with all these bullet holes. My brother's out again. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there could be more bullet holes. But Jeff's got a new car. Yep. You got a new car and I got a new car. It's and they're cool. all fucking and badass. They're all fucking fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough it's gonna be a rough year for everybody, you know? Yep. But Yep. I think we came back with a vengeance this Tuesday. Yeah. I'm gonna Holy call it shit. good. Yeah, how long is it? I feel been? like we're either gonna run some people off or you know. Uh, you know I think everybody'd be good with it. <laughs> if yeah. not, fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the only people that'll be left is well, we started with three Mexicans, so. really. Yeah, yeah. We made fun of everybody but Mexicans. The guys beating on Sean's roof. Yeah, and All we'll right. leave that for next week. Yeah. There you go. Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, we'll next Tuesday. Maybe we'll... sixty-eight days from now. <laughs> hey, but hey, no, it's gonna be next Tuesday, like yep. it is every Tuesday. Sounds Bet good. Bet that. Yep, we're out. Out.